All of our watering holes can be found at TomAndDanWateringHoles.com. You can go to TomAndDan.com and click on the watering holes link, and it lists out all of our brewery and restaurant partners that you can go see. It's a pretty unique list, including but not limited to, like Will's Pub, Little Indies, and Dirty Laundry. Yeah, Will's Pub is actually doing a wrestling event. You could buy tickets at uh, Will'sPub.org. Yep. It's at their veranda, but you can get the tickets through Will's Pub's website. And a lot of you guys know what it is. It's the Mayhem on Mills uh, wrestling events that have been legendary. I remember these from prior, uh, before uh, pre-pandemic, they were doing these. And yep. then, uh, the, you never know what you're going to get. You never know the lineup. It's super fun, and it's like a homegrown wrestling event. Hourglass Brewing in Longwood, um, they've got the Smash Beer Fest this weekend, yep. flsmash.com. Man, we got a lot of good stuff going on this weekend. Also, we're doing a Sapo tournament February 29th on Thursday, if you want to see that. Yeah, if you don't know what Sapo is, Peruvian coin tossing game, you will like it. The current seafood counter in College Park, right there on Edgewater Drive. Get some delicious seafood and I mean, some craft beer. since we're not going camping, I'm probably going to have to take Maisie yeah. there to make up for it. I got to get some shrimps. You get some lobster rolls, yeah, that black yeah. and mahi sandwich. Or the grouper. He has a grouper sandwich that will make little old men yell curse words. Ask for a Tom and Dan pint glass. Yep. Also, Cafe Da Vinci in DeLand. Constantly have great bands come through Cafe Da Vinci. A great courtyard. It's beautiful to watch the show That's back there. That's probably the best date night venue we have. Uh, it's really beautiful out there. I mean, you've seen the photos of the lights that they put up in the trees, and the sound is second to none. Yeah, Ale Stone, that's also in Longwood. Great beers, great homemade uh, brewery seltzers. Uh, they've got 50% off their pizzas that they make in-house Monday through Thursday. Yep. So stop by there and ask for some Tom and Dan piece of merchandise. Well, if you got like an early day, I mean, you swing through on one of those Monday through Thursday days, like you make an early afternoon, get yourself a pizza and some good be- uh, get some beer. Yeah, Tuffy's Bottle Shop and Lounge in Sanford. Of course, Tuffy's Music Box. They constantly have shows going through there uh, like all week long. So check out Tuffy's Music Box.com for yeah, all their schedule. I mean, they got the North Mississippi All Stars on Sunday. They always have singer songwriters playing there. Uh, great little venue. And if you've never been there, check it out. So many bars inside there. Suffering Bastard is actually yep. hidden and tucked inside. You might need to make reservations for that. But man, Tuffy's is a good little spot. And plenty more. Johnny's, of course, uh, and others at TomAndDanWateringHoles.com. Live from the injured on the go, just call Mo Studio. It's a blast! It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. It's all falling apart. <laughs> oh. hey, hey. I can't even tell the story you were telling me. I can't even talk about that. Hey, Sam's computer oh. is pop crazy. I said we do talk about that. Loud as hell. I mean, we can. I mean, we can talk about anything. Hey, it is another a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer, is here. Hello, Sam. Hey. Dodging bullets, white bullets, computers popping. She's over there. She's doing her thing. Pussy popping. Hey. Hey. Seth, Seth Petrozelli's here. How are you doing, Seth? Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka. Oh, he's, he's doing allowed to say that. Yeah, yeah, he's allowed to do it. Uh, so Sam's computer does violently uh, <laughs> pop. I like, gotta keep you on your toes. <laughs> once a week, once a week, typically on like Thursdays and Fridays. That's exactly what it sounds like. What, uh, I don't know why it does that. Typically on Thursday and Fridays, the sound card shooting for the weekend. Yeah, the sound card in your computer starts to get a little wackadoodle, <laughs> and it'll start like, and then it's got a device on it, like a popping device <laughs> that I put, installed on it. Because if you run, it's basically. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. It's got a device that I purchased that's supposed to ground 
the machine. It's a homemade okay. computer, right? Yeah. But it's got this little device in the back of it. It starts popping crazy. So it's got this little device that I bought from China that you put <laughs> on there. Like, if I take that device on, it's like... <laughs> it's all right. Like, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> but if you put it on, it <laughs> like just, a generator? it'll just stay normal. And then it'll... <laughs> is that like, like the electrodes popping through? Like, what is I, the noise? I have no actually? idea. It's above my pay <laughs> grade. A Chinese guy in there hammering away. Yeah, like, Sam's just it? trying to yeah, edit the commercials. Yeah, yeah. It's just pop here <laughs> straight in her face. I'm holding my ear. <laughs> it's so loud. It's so loud. And it only happens. It happens once. And then twice I'm like, a week. I'm sorry. I, I have to leave the room. And the way to fix it, like any other good, because we're just like any other company. Smack it, right? You know, we're not going to buy a new computer because I've gone to the marketing department a couple of times and we've been outvoted oh. a few times. Or just pop it and, a little bit. Uh, it's fine. It works. You have to, you know, what? We go to the marketing, or I go to the uh, the money department. Well, I money say, bro, hey, okay. we need a new computer. This one's popping and quite dangerous for Sam. And uh, But it's fine. You just reboot it, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. You just give it a just reboot. Reboot it. And and then you know it'll how much last. time you could save by not having to reboot it all the time? Time is money. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. And because it's a it's homemade your money, who cares? It's a TND medical. Yeah. I'll tell everybody it's a homemade computer, so it's a hackintosh. Well, I just know these cheapos aren't going to buy one. It's a so hackintosh. Like... It's not even a real Macintosh. So when we reboot it, you have to pray <laughs> that it reboots. That it's actually rebooted. Yeah, yeah, like you reboot it. And then, right. Sam, am I lying? And then it does a series of Matrix style characters when you reboot it. It's like, oh, it's it's running the numbers. It runs the numbers. And it goes crazy. Crazy, and then feel like hold, I'm a Mr. Robot. And, and then you go to a black screen and you hold your breath. <laughs> and then when you see the Apple, you're like, okay, we got another, we got another week out of it. I can't say anything. The last four computers I bought was from a pawn shop. <laughs> oh, 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 you know what's on those? <laughs> she, she, oh my gosh, should I That's kiss you? Or my wife? Shit. Is this Andrea Dennis here? Yeah, the cheapest fine. person in the uh, there's fucking there's planet? Uh, but I make sure inappropriate stuff on those, <laughs> yeah, there, for sure. There's, there's always, it's always supposed to be white, but it's not white. There's always something remnants of the other person. Oh, well, <laughs> they don't even wipe their counters at a bunch. Do you at least get a new keyboard? Ooh. Uh, two are laptops, two are tape. Oh, uh, there's uh, some remnants. Laptops are okay. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to go off script. A couple things. Our cruise is going on <laughs> this uh, September Tom and Dan Cruise 2024.com yeah don't just put Tom and Dan Cruise dot com oh. yeah, you'll no. get a you want to uh, see it uh, some sort of Asian gambling oh, site. <laughs> Which, you know, <laughs> some people might think we do <laughs> own, right, but... We'll go uh, to it. There's a little TomandDanCruise.com. We'll go here and uh, we'll check it out see what's happening today. <laughs> whoa, oh, look whoa, at that. It still Holy makes... Wow. Shit. <laughs> look at that go. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Pops, it's popping as much as Sam's computer. Yeah. Look <laughs> at it go. There is a lot going on there. Yeah, that's we, it. Uh, oh. It's a uh, headache. It hurts uh, my eyes. Yeah, I have no idea what that is, but it's a thing. So don't go there. <laughs> go to Tom sure. and Dan Cruise 2024. 2024 yeah. com. Uh, comes with a free drink package, unlimited free alcohol yep. and free sodas, free Wi-Fi if you book through us. Sure. And we do free par- private parties and events. A free private party? Pirate party? Is that what you just said? <laughs> yes, I did. Are you say lying that. again? Like I you thought you said free private parts party. Did uh, you what know? The hell? Maybe <laughs> there's a water park. Who knows? Did no you know knows. he lied about on one of the. Where did we do that? Sam was gone, so okay, I just yeah. started did, saying things. I, I lied to well, you. I, mean, I lied to you earlier in the week. Remember when I told you when you came back, I said, hey, everything went great. Yes. I lied to you. <laughs> well, I, I, I figured as much. I uh, forgot. Uh, no, wait, but I, I, it's not really a lie if I forgot it, right? Because everything other than this did go well. But we did a commercial, and, and, and then we're like, hey, what do you, I did this. I go, hey, what do you want to plug? You want to plug the cruise? And Tom says, yeah, let's plug the cruise. I sent him in that direction. Then for, like, I, it felt like 20 minutes, but it's closer to, like, seven minutes. He went on a whole diatribe about how you're going to want to sign up because we're going to the private island with a water park for kids. <laughs> like, oh. it's got a water park, yeah. and he's never been to the water <laughs> park. He's like, I've never been to the water park. Then he starts talking to himself, is there a water park? And then, then he we get to is there water park? Then we got to we get answers. Oh my god! This was the last cruise where we said there was a go kart track on the boat, <laughs> and then it turned out there wasn't. We always lie about everything. We, we do. always lie about the cruises. Uh, last water park I went to on a cruise, it had fleas. It, it was infested with fleas. fleas. <laughs> Hundreds Wait of thousands. No, no, it's no. all help. It's you didn't go to a water park with fleas. Tons, tons. You didn't tell me you were over there on the slides. <laughs> you just made me laugh fart. On the, on the walk, yeah, old man laugh fart. On the ladders up, they were like. 
crawling all over and jumping on the <laughs> stairs. No, you didn't see fleas oh, yeah. climbing <laughs> stairs. Yes, I, bullshit, I didn't. Off. There were so many that formed like it, you know, like yeah. in the cartoons where it forms. No, like, you a it looked like, <laughs> I swear to God, it was like that. You're going to have that. You're going to have that. I had a dog a one hand. I had a dog one time. This is a true story. I had a dog one time that uh, we kept spraying for fleas and they would still get on her. Mm-hmm. And then the That's pest control guy, this is a Volusia County pest control guy, but he came up, he's like, we've been spraying for and they're immune to it and we've created super fleas and they're going to kill your dog. They killed my dog. The <laughs> fleas killed my dog. Oh, no. Because they were super fleas. They became immune to the spray that we were putting down. Oh, Nothing man. could be done. They couldn't be stopped. Also, if you want $50 off your initial uh, you know, med- <laughs> medical <laughs> marijuana card, yeah. uh, you can uh, enter and go to buddocs.org and, and the promo code is BUDLOVE50 when you set your initial appointment hey. for your medical marijuana card. 50 bucks off. Nice. And so you could also, same day, get your medical marijuana uh, recommendation yeah. and then just literally go to a dispensary right after you go to Bud Doc. Quickly, true That's story. That's the end of February, by yeah, the way. Yeah, a quick true story. If you uh, are you battle with pain and, and whatever, like I do, um, I, I have a maintenance medication. I take Celebrex, and I wasn't able to get it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I used, uh, just amped up my 10 milligrams <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. No, seriously, it does help. It's, That's a good temporary fix. Yeah. It, it well, it fixes better than aspirin uh, and uh, true, Tylenol true. and that true. kind of stuff. Never works. I've never been an Advil guy, but I'll tell you what: a couple of pills will help you out. So I have a couple stories, and I wanted to get your guys' opinion. You know what? And, I'm sick of yours. <laughs> and I'm glad Seth's here for this story because somebody is. it has to do with a doctor. And uh, I don't go to the doctor that often yeah. uh, just to go get my Why? drugs. Um, just because I want drugs anytime I go to the no, doctor. No, no, I mean, then, like, you've never been... A go to the doctor kind of guy, right? No, no, I just ignore any sort of problem I have. Um, I mean, I even like I looked down at the toilet, blood, <laughs> and then I just don't th- uh, uh, just ignore the, you saw that. Well, right. to set if it's the story, right, it's okay. if it's to bright, set the red, story okay. a little bit, I remember when I first met you, you had that. You had something with your neck. Oh, big neck infection. <laughs> because I and got you a, were just letting a it neck go. Neck infection. <laughs> well, I got my wisdom teeth out and it infected my neck and a big goiter happened. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I did eventually go to the emergency yeah. room and they were like, dude, one were, more day you and you'll die. You were that goiter for a while. Though. You <laughs> and, like and a little bandage the guy that's always like, how do people let tumors get so big? <laughs> this guy how had a goiter on his neck. Do you have any pictures of it? Like, did it have a hole it in it? It was pre-pictures. Was it leaking? Pre-pictures. It was. It was. It was like Some of your best stories. Like 2005. Most of your best goiters are pre-pictures. That's why <laughs> we don't have a lot of pictures of them. Um, anyway, I got that from the camping trip, which we had to cancel this weekend. Good goddamn weather. Anyway. Uh. Uh, <laughs> no, you, nobody wants to They cancel Mardi Gras yeah. uh, in Sanford. Yeah, like, they cancel everything in Sanford. <laughs> <laughs> it's a damn atmospheric <laughs> river. Anyway. Atmospheric so, river. So uh, wow. I, I went to the doctor this week. And I cannot believe this. Because I finally had to uh, get my nerve test for my hands because I couldn't take it anymore. Okay. And, uh, Does I it to, hurt? I had to wait till the beginning of the year so because um, I have shit uh, stage four cancer insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> and uh, uh, and it only it's only it only pays for stage four. Yeah. It, it, all the other costs I have to pay mm-hmm. out of pocket. Anyway, so I I finally fed up and I went to go get the nerve test. Right. So and let me ask you, uh, Seth and Daniel. Yeah. When, when and I've actually had this test done. Tom uh, and I talked so, about so it. So have I with my foot. I did yeah. the nerve test. It, right. It's not surprising that two hypochondriacs have had the nerve test. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> you well, know? It hurt actually. It, it does hurt. Okay. Yeah, it oh, hurts really hurt. bad. And they I stab think you what, with needles and they shock your fingers. And my, <laughs> mine was uh, because I had a tremor. And yeah. I still kind of have it in my right hand, but um, but I was convinced that I had a lesion on my brain that <laughs> oh, was yeah, causing yeah. right. I mean, you, a white matter mm-hmm. lesion. Yeah, yeah, oh well, yeah, yeah. I definitely I had a lesion, but I have one oh, actually. God. So well, really? yeah, from getting knocked around, or I, they said it could be from right. migraines. It could be from yeah, know. yeah. Oh, you got one of those? Oh, <laughs> don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. oh my god, I'd be freaking out <laughs> yeah. if that was in my head. <laughs> I, <had a> legion. <laughs> I wouldn't be here doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, that'd be, be a whole thing that stops you know the lesion from growing. I'd be, I'd be riding a bull named Fu Manchu. <laughs> 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 <I'm sorry. laughs> Rest in peace, Fu <laughs> Manchu. 
Um, so anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys are like this, but when I'm at the doctor, because I you know go that often, <laughs> if I'm getting a test, you know, right. <laughs> no, 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 but I want to be the toughest patient that he's seen that day. Dude, you have <laughs> an obsession with grit and toughness. <laughs> no, no, but I, I just want the doctor. Like I want him to when he's doing the test for to be like, man, this guy's tough. You know, uh, <laughs> I, I don't normally say this, but you do know you're the toughest patient I've had today. Uh, they never say that though. No, <laughs> why, 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 but they're thinking. I know they're thinking. Because I, be he wants to like a little kid. Like you're the toughest one today. Here's a lollipop. <laughs> well, because I so he's doing the nerve test. He's shocking my fingers, and I just sit there like a corpse while he does it. Oh. And uh, and so and it hurts, but I don't act. I don't fidget. I don't say, "Oh, I don't make any." I just sit there and take it right. So he's shocking my fingers and doing the whole thing. Then he moves to like stabbing me and shocking my fingers. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And uh, so then uh, the second <laughs> thing I do. Asian man. No, no, it was I a stereotypical. A, I had a little Asian man. I had a big fat white guy. Yeah, yeah. It was a, this was a stereotypical like, um, like uh, nerve nurse. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, nerve nerve. Dan, Dan you're, you're good at explaining what that, what an occupation looks like, right? What is a well, typical nerve nurse? My, my was, was a nerd. fatter Asian oh, man nerd. with a round Charlie Brown head, <laughs> yeah. and he had a little bitty like little patch of uh, oh. uh, like Kim Jong Un. Uni hair, okay. he had uni hair, and he was round, and he had a striped shirt on, and his jeans were too tight, and on tiny little dirty Chuck Taylors. So I'm sitting there taking the electric shocks, and then I like to also. Are you trying like not to make any facial? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could be the toughest guy yeah, he's yeah. seen that day. I'm like, so, like I'm, the toughest. And I know he's thinking like this guy is tough. Wow, he's not this, even uh, enough. You know, moving. you're pretty close to no, the toughest he's not. guy. <laughs> he's thinking this guy is an idiot trying not to move, so he looks tough. I don't think he's thinking that at all. I think the guy's thinking. He's thinking I just about Applebee's. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he's, like, yes. he's like, I want to get out of here. I can't you wait. got two for once tonight. Yeah, he's like, I wonder if my wife will let me fuck her tonight. I w- I'm hungry. So then the second thing I do at the doctor is I observe what they're doing, and then I guess what, how, what they're doing works. Is that the only one? <laughs> I knew it. So, f- basically, this guy's shocking my fingers. Are you shocking my fingers? I knew it. <laughs> and then he's me- he's taking a measuring tape and then measuring my fingers. You measure my fingers? <laughs> I got long thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't measure my thumbs. And so he's like, he's, oh, wow. <laughs> he's stabbing me in the elbow and the, like, right in the wrist and then shocking me good and then measuring <laughs> it, right? So then he's looking at this, like, uh, like equipment that is like a graph or whatever. Yeah. So I'm watching him do this and then I'm like, it's a coffee machine. I know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then I'm like, oh, I see you're shocking me. Oh, it's all coming into picture. Now. <laughs> yeah, right. and then you're, oh, you're, God you're, damn it, you're dude. measuring how long the shock takes to get to the fingers. Yes. Like, you know, and, then, and then he and then they always say, like. Uh, because they want to be nice, they're like, ah, kind of, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so then I, so he do, he shocks my fingers or whatever, and then at the end of the whole thing, he tells me exactly what I told him when I first came in there, and he walked in. He's like, well, what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, I think I have carpal tunnel in both hands. Uh, my right one being worse. And well, the like, only I, way to find out is the way <laughs> <you're fine laughs> with the shock. Also, he confirmed. What what you suspected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so he gave you an official uh, diagnosis. Well, he's not he just allowed to do that. He's not supposed to do that. That's not the doctor. That's well, the that, technician. That's for ultrasounds. I think this one he is because he said some. My guy said something to me too. I think you're allowed to with my guy. <laughs> yeah, with the nerve. I had to wait. He's, he I had told to wait. Me. He's like, I'm scared to death for a call. And then they called me. They're like, you have no lesions. You're crazy. We shocked your But I feel, I feel it was gimmicky, like you're you're yeah. alluding to right now. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's gimmicky. So then, like it's bullshit. So then, now by the way, this test cost me seven hundred bucks, no. right, out of pocket. Oh, I have done, 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 done it. And then it's it's like, it's seven Fridays. Right? <laughs> so, so then I was like, so he's like, oh, carpal tunnel in the right hand, a uh, little bit less in the left hand. That's it. And then I was like, well, that's what I said. Yeah. And then uh, and then I started looking. I was like, "This is a whole dog and you pony show." Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you know, you can't I stick my hands in a carpal tunnel robot? Like uh, for sure, a <laughs> robot yet. Yet. could do this, and a doctor didn't have to put little electrodes on my hands and then shock me <laughs> and then that, look at the that's, graph. That's all they have. And then I, but I feel like it's all a show. And then then mm. this is it's because it's a business, right? So and it's Daniel knows this is that uh, this is how 
business works, Seth. Listen up. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you don't know anything about well, business. Attention. Every business makes what they do seem more complicated. Oh, than I it do is. what I do. I'm like, oh, man, you, like uh, Tough. yeah. If you take our business, you know how easy it is to read commercials for me and Dan. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not a good example. <laughs> that's a point. Well, yeah, yeah, it seems harder than it should be. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Like it's it's a little bit hard for us, but it you should be super is? easy. You know normally. how hard it is for us to make it appear hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how hard that is. And I feel like the medical industry has the medical industry. All they do is make things seem more complicated and harder than they mm-hmm. actually are. And so that when you spend the money, so they, they can justify, justify the yeah. the amount of money. Like this is a seven hundred dollar test. The well, guy says it with starts the with the price, right? Everything goes back to the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like companies that we used to work with. Like Ideal Image was one of them. I still like to work with them. But one of the things that used to make me crazy is they'd never do like payment plans or anything because they thought it made it made them seem cheap or whatever but the the price was always inflated if you made the price of this test something reasonable and the way it should be priced, like if it were like a $65... Well, that's the insurance No, that's fault. what I'm saying. Yeah. Is it yeah. like if, if you got that done and they said, yeah, this is the tried and true way to know, and they said it was $55 and you did it, everybody would have a better feeling about sure. but why can't how we're treated medically but yeah do you know what this, my sh- my sh- injections were on my hips do you oh, know what that cost okay. take a guess i mean $4200 oh, yeah. i was going to say 4000 a piece yeah, yeah we well, yeah, got damn $4200 for two shots oh, they two did shots. Tom, what did Tom, you it didn't even work dude it didn't <laughs> work i could have done that it didn't work you might as well you did the same thing you <laughs> make me happier than the fucking shots do <laughs> you punch them in the in the hips every <laughs> I, days. it would it would feel yeah, better but it doesn't take $4200 no. to give you a shot like the uh the the nerve test like that was a $120 right, nerve I test. I held out as long as I could. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, we deserve no, that. Old we men complain that. about insurance. Yeah, yeah, 23 no. minutes into the show, we're talking about insurance. But you yeah. know, right. but I can't value what the medical what industry does. What did you does. go there for? For the nerve test. Uh, the for, what, for what? For the results for them to tell you what you thought that you suspected that well, you had? You were, you, were you thinking you were surgery, surgery, right? a, a, were you going to get a cure? Like, what were you thinking? Yeah, what were, no, what, no, what were your I, expectations no. of going in? Right. What well, did you want back they, out of it? They can't give me nothing for my... They right. can't right. give me <laughs> nothing for my... Unless it's diagnosed. Oh, they, they, yeah. So they, you got what you signed up for. I did, but it shouldn't have cost so much I to diagnose me. And I can't shop it out like I can't everything else. Like, when I used to get tires when I was poor... That's, well, that's bad. You'd be getting <laughs> some cut raid Craigslist guy like that, I shock him. Ain't that, yeah. That's what I want. It's my car battery. This is America. I should be allowed to go to any doctor that I want I to. Mean, they have that in other countries. <laughs> <They can't laughs> that. In other countries, you can go to an I, unlicensed doctor. I know a yes. podcast doctor that'll <laughs> check out your nerves. But I want to go because when Shout I Phil. when I was at my poorest, I used to go to the Retread Lopez Tires and get oh, Retread Tires. God bless you, Lopez. Tires. It was thirty bucks a tire. Yeah. And and then it was it was I think all, still in business. It was like you know forty percent as good as a new tire is a fine. You know, like, <laughs> I want to go to a Lopez doctor. Yeah, you yeah. can, <laughs> but it's not legal. But you can find yeah, them out there. That's it. a problem. Though. I can get you a BBL tomorrow. Yeah. Because if and I then you might die in somebody's apartment on their couch. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, that's the risk you take. <laughs> but what? I'll take the risk. My nerve doctor was out of business. Like I went the week later to question him because I had questions just like oh you. Oh my god! You guys <laughs> went are in, interrogating I went, the I, I went in and he's like, "Yeah, that guy's no longer with they us." They boarded up the window. Like, what the fuck? Really? Yeah, <laughs> One he, week later, he skipped gone. down. Apparently, he, <laughs> he was, got uh, your nerve money. Apparently, he's shocking you in your butthole. But I tried to be tough, just like you. And then when I got up from the the bed I was laying on, drenched, just soaking wet from my sweat. Oh, I didn't like, it hurts so no fucking bad. I was like, is there any way to so turn this down? Bad. It hurts. And they're like, sir, oh, it's Is it a to... thing where you're supposed to let them know when it hurts? Because shouldn't you be reacting to they know? No, I'm yeah. the baby. I was like, oh god, this hurts so bad. And they're like, I could take pain, but that that shit was just awkward and weird. It was just running down to I my didn't toes. Have the I felt a little bit in my balls. Oh. <laughs> I did it in my hands, and you could feel it in your elbow. You know that area where you get like, um... Funny funny, funny bone. Did you feel it in your funny bone? Oh yeah, they were shocked. They were sticking Needles in my funny bone and shocking my hand to open. It pops your hand open. <laughs> and then they but can. Just stood there, so like, cold. Theoretically, took it. they can make your hand do, like, because yeah. they're controlling yeah. the nerve, they can, like, make your fingers, like, pop and make, like. Yeah, I want the doctor to be like, like this you, motherfucker's you, tough. He's taking it. He's taking the pop hand. You should, like, give me a middle finger. Like, pop the middle finger. You know? Or they're like, Sign language, the or they're like, why is this guy here? He's not even <laughs> reacting. He obviously doesn't have any nerve pain. So, what's the. So, you got a carpal tunnel. What are you going to do now? So, pretty much your hands are pussies. <laughs> they, oh, they pussy are, hands. Yeah. I gotta go and now get the drugs. It's all <laughs> <a God game. laughs> That's all they're selling me yeah. is drugs. Anyway. Yeah. Punch a Maki waterboard, you'll be good. 
Mocky so, waterboard. Hard, hard punches, conditioning. So another thing that I went to go do this uh, week, which I'm not used to doing, is I went to a running uh, shoe store. I went to a running, to, uh, <laughs> those things you wear on your feet. <laughs> so you did two old man things the week that you turned 42. Why, why is that old? A lot of people go to running shoes. I did yeah, well, Young too. people get buy running shoes. So, yeah. But I usually, just, you know, like if I buy running shoes, I would go to like Foot Locker or Champs yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> or, uh, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah, Journey. Some- yeah. <laughs> you will, a lot of people don't know this. Tom only wears older Yeezys. <laughs> uh, but they everybody told me, Simone, my coach, and then the Jetson wife, they go yeah. to a running shoe and store. You gotta go to a running shoe You <laughs> no, only listen to like Coach that. Crazy. The guy, the guy that <laughs> shocked my foot told me to go there. That's why I went. <laughs> I swear to God, that's why I went. Let me fit your shoes. <laughs> no, come on. Oh, Hoka. So, uh, How big are your feet? Can I be your Hoka? So, and then Crystal's yelling, go to the store. Uh, I, Did she I yell at you like that? <laughs> so I go to what the What color shoes are you looking for here? I hope you get big bright. <laughs> oh, no. That's the thing with running shoes. I hope you got the candy cord. You have to take what they give you, because that's what I have to do. <laughs> yeah, what do you yes, mean? Yes, yes, you have to take what no, they you give you. Have to take what do you mean? Yes. yes. No, I And there's asked, no turning asked, back. I no, don't give me gray. Me. And they gave me gray. No, I they come gray. out with a... No. I went with Tracy. You asked. You way my foot is gray. The way my foot was shaped and the way I walked, he's like, these will be the best ones for you. Pulls them out. I swear to fucking Christ, it looked like an 80-year-old man shoe. <laughs> yeah, like the most, the so most so old shoes. Shit, but on. there was men for running. I'm like, people wear these to run that? Yep. And Tracy's like, she's like, it's okay. Maybe if you just dress them up a little bit. I could paint them for you. Dress them up. You going to put that She said she would paint them for me. Because she's like, oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, but I couldn't say no because that's the one they picked for me. So, yes. I, so I bought them. So like karate <laughs> dad on the back of them. Set those. Yeah. <laughs> Set those. So, yeah. so I go to this. Okay, first. Sorry, I, I hijacked your story. I no, like no, no. Crazy, it's more on this. I like the crazy. Was it crazy colors? So, oh, I love the okay. crazy colors. But they <laughs> gave me the grays. I got the grays. <laughs> gray. No, no, you showed me. Yeah. I know they're gray brooks, and I okay. want this. I want. Remember the day before, right before I left, you you had them on, and I'm like, I have to go to yeah. the running store, and I showed them to you. Mine there's brooks no. adrenaline. Mine was brooks, but it's mauve. Is mauve a co- mauve? Mauve a color? Mauve. Mauve. Okay, mauve. 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 It's like mauve or something. Wait, weird. Let me see what they gave. Very good. Oh, please. Where's the picture? <laughs> so, uh, so oh, I, I hope you. We should go run scums. together now. <laughs> so, I, and by the way, Big, I, thick boy. I don't think I've ever been this excited for yes, any reveal. He gave you corrective shoes. Yes, <laughs> you're Forrest Gump. Oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> Mine are thick too. <laughs> so, my dreams come true. <laughs> so, I walk into the store, and I, I don't know why Crystal sent me in by myself. Why uh, didn't you go up to the place the BDM works at? Because a you're a 42 year old man, and you should okay, be able to buy right. your own shoes. We're allowed to say the name. I thought we were not saying it for that's why. No, I didn't go there. That's what Daniel told me. I didn't go. I went There's to a track. BDM that works at Traction. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah I went yeah. to BDM. There's no, no. a BDM that works Well, they still fuck me because they'll give me other shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a discount. We're, we went to some farmer's market and then they're farmer's at... Farmer's market oh my for God, shoes! You put a cantaloupe <laughs> on your feet. <laughs> farmer's market? He's running an all-natural cantaloupe airs. Now, yeah. Where they have the farmer's market, there's also stores there and there's a, sh- uh-huh. a running I shoe. He's a vegan running shoe. Yeah, <laughs> I don't trust that. <laughs> Coconut husks. <laughs> and oh, my cr- God. And Crystal was like, the boys were out there playing on some sort of... Uh, bounce house and Crystal's like go to the shoe store so I walk in by myself and then they're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, no, it's What's a, it's a Gregor? fancy, it's, it's fancy, it's uh-huh. in a fancy part of town. So when you have to scream, it's fancy. I don't believe you. So I think I know the area it was of town he's talking about. I it's paid a, like two hundred eighty bucks. Small Sounds boutique. Like you got swindled. But it's a small boutique store. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. not as big. So I walk mm-hmm. in, and then the person is like, "Oh, sorry, they they give you ultimate customer service yeah, because yeah, yeah. Like, they want to sell. They work yeah. on commission. That's why it's also two hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I know what you're talking about, and I know that they work on commission because I know with the shoe salesmen they work yeah. on commission. Yeah, I yeah. used to work in the shoe you, industry. Yeah, you used to be in there. You're behind <laughs> the, the shoe <laughs> industry. He was behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw yeah. quite a few shoes myself and it depends on where you work whether yeah, you get yeah. commission or not. But in the in what I know about the shoe industry back in my day <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> early 2000s <laughs> when the I know the shoe oh, industry. Man. I used to masturbate in shoes. <laughs> so anyway so my friends masturbated in shoes. So the first thing they do is they take me over to a fancy shoe a uh, feet Scanner. Oh, I have to take my, no, I have dude, to just take have my, to measure it and look at your No, feet. no, it's a whole scanning system that I stand in no, and great. I put now, my feet on. Now, if you're mad about the nerve test mm-hmm. and you're not mad about this. <laughs> you're going to shock no. my feet? <laughs> so, <laughs> Don't shock my feet. So, because you called it a fancy foot scanner. <laughs> so I get on the scanner and they, they, <laughs> they scan my feet. And then the guy, like, uh, the, animals not allowed. The shooter. <laughs> <nerve. laughs> uh, yes. So, you, it says here that you have one long boy <laughs> and yes, one, and so one like, squirt. So he said, he's like, yo, 
squirt and a long boy. He's like, whoa! He, sh- he showed whoa, like, whoa. whoa. He has one foot. That's not professional. Notice? Did you yeah. know this? He has one foot that's a sk- yeah. that's a donut hole, and the other is a long boy. Oh. They have two oh. different size feet. They're a foot. They're a, they're a, a foot. No, 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 they're a full foot. size. He's got one one little baby foot. He's got one is three inches. The other is like nine and a half. Take my good foot. One's a little over a ten, and one's a nine exactly. And and then I I didn't know this. I knew that. Your penis looks. <laughs> no, half of I, his feet is small. The other half is long. Wow. No, yeah. When I was 15, I broke my right foot. I smushed all my toes on my mom yeah. three wheeler <laughs> in the backyard. Oh, mom oh, three that's why they don't make those oh, anymore. Mom three wheeler. <laughs> that's how we knew you were the rightful king of Castleberry. <laughs> Check his feet. Have they been smushed to the back? I read in the tome about the day of reckoning. Yes, his feet were smushed back on the three wheeler. You are the rightful king of Castleberry, sir. So then he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, also, did you know that your left foot is long and skinny, and then your right is short and Short and stout? <laughs> yeah, I never noticed you know that, asshole. Like, you, said, you have a short, fat, thin foot and a long, ugly, dumb foot like, top. You have Jack Spratt feet. <laughs> 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 one skinny, no lean. <laughs> so then, he's like, one's long and skinny, one's short and fat. Then he had me walk on if this somebody pad. somebody said that to me, I'd punch him in the face. You don't insult my feet. One's, and then he had me walk on this pad. To check that, your gait. To check my uh, instep. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then, he's like, Oh my god, he's like, dear God, you're not walking, you're hovering. <laughs> no, he's like, Your feet are completely flat, <laughs> like, a, like a sloppy hand. That's oh. why you, you do, we know like that is how you walk, bro. Like, you walk the floor like, when you like, walk. You know, what normal, you walk like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. You know, how normal footprint has like a, like a crescent or yeah. footprint, yeah. You know, arch, arch. outside arch. Yeah, yes. you, you dig <laughs> your point in and you whip your long boy. <laughs> oh god, yours are like cavemen. Or like dinosaur stomps. He digs in the pointy, the short yeah. one. He digs it in, and he takes the other one, and he whap, long it. boy whaps the guy. <laughs> showed him to me. It's like a Jim Phillips whip. <laughs> and he showed it to me. He's like, "Look at your feet. Uh, look at your footprint. It's flat. I've never seen. It. It's like a you cartoon. Said I've never yeah. seen anything like this. He probably just googled the picture of an hey, alligator. Yo, Jay, walking. we ain't never seen anything <laughs> like this. Yeah. It's a baby <laughs> whale. It's a baby <laughs> whale, kid. So, so then I go sit down. He's like, I, "I'm gonna go bring some out." So he goes. I'm gonna make something special for you. <laughs> and then he starts bringing them out. Right. So this is the second problem: is that when a salesperson uh, like puts something on me and then says, "How does it feel?" I don't know how to feel. Yeah, because you have to <laughs> feel what you, you're, you look to everybody else to see how to feel. <laughs> yes, I, I, it makes sense now, man. So I put the shoes on and the regular shoes, and then he's like, "So how does it feel?" And I'm like, "Uh, how should it feel?" <laughs> <laughs> Like, stand this up. is my first time. He's like, stand up and walk around. I stand up. This and walk is why around. he needs mommy with him. I walk around and I'm like, I don't. You guys, it feels like shoes. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what is it supposed to feel like? And he's like, does it feel good? Is it rubbing anywhere? And I'm like, well, yeah. Is it like pinching your toes? Is it too tight? Is yeah, it rubbing up the back? Like, I, what do you mean? You're 42. Yeah, you should know how to feel of shoes. He doesn't wear good. shoes. He needs to fit. This is like the first pair oh, of shoes yeah, he's ever bought. He it's like well, watching a caveman and, tie a bow tie. So then I'm, I'm like, well, my. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the visual yeah. representation. I appreciate that. So then I'm like, well, my long foot, I f- it is touching <laughs> the boy, end. The long boy. The, the long boy is touching the end. He's like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's like, I'll go back. And back the, so, the drawing board. So that kept having, I kept, I tried on some Brooks and a New Balance of the whole thing. Yeah. So, so I tried on, and I'm like, my long boy's still touching. And then he's like, all right. He's like, all right, I got one more. So he goes, goes to back. the vault. He goes to the vault. And he, <laughs> he's a dialing. <laughs> and so then he no pulls, one's ever worn these before. He pulls out uh, what I can only describe. <laughs> these, 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 these are the picture? goof bot What are they? I got a goof bot. I'm not joking. They're, 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 these are the Fagarellis. take a picture. <laughs> they are, the I mean. Flintstones Flatterellis? No. no the slam boat Fagarelli. Novelty. The slam boat Fagarelli. We've never, we haven't seen these in seven years. He's like, this, he's like, this is our uh, widest toe box. <laughs> it's a special ball. <laughs> Hashtag so, wide toe box. He puts in the code. They, I'm not joking. They, they're so wide. They, and they're bright blue <laughs> wide boys. <laughs> so I put them on. And they then, felt great, didn't they? And they oh, yeah. They're like, like, oh, like, this I'm is like, how it feels. I like, know how it feels. I'm, I'm like, oh, it's not touching. He's like, I'll walk around. And then as I walk around or whatever, and I looked out and I'm like, man, they seem Aww. wide. Like, 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 in, sta- you know, a regular shoe is straight. 
This one goes out in the back. Yeah, it's and a it's, it's a romper. It's, yeah. a romper? it's an hourglass type of it's shoe. Like, it's like you're wearing it's, two lime wedges <laughs> on your feet. The 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 toe of it is wide. <laughs> yeah, it's like a McDonald's. It's like a, pe- it's like a penis head. It's a clown shoe. It is a bright blue clown shoe. I gotta see these. So I put it on and I'm walking around. Fast as fuck, boy. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, is this supposed? To, I'm like, is it supposed to be this wide? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> for you, and yeah. for you, yeah. And, and he's like, also our heavier shoe. <laughs> heavier. And then I'm like, is it supposed to be heavy? He's oh, like, you have corrective he's like, shoes. He's like, sometimes. <laughs> so I put it on. I think I'm, gonna throw up. I'm stomping around and then I try to run to run in place. And I'm like, it feels fine, I guess. And then he sells me an insole. Oh, God. Oh, He's like, God. insole. The gra- the did, door- you get, did you get socks, too? I, did, I had to get the socks, oh, too. The cr- yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I leave. And I'm like, all right. Bought the shoes. <laughs> the <laughs> you didn't wince when he said the price? You're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But I, I, Because Daniel tells me, he's like, when you go and do something yeah, yeah, right, yeah, it's right. expensive. That's yeah, what I, do. That's I mean, I do. you know, yeah, uh, if, if he does buy all the, I mean, yeah. he, your bike, if you had to buy that, dude. Yeah. That, I mean, it's super expensive. Right? Yeah, it would have been. You're lucky that you were gifted that. So then I get home. And, uh. And so, and Crystal's like, uh, let me see your new shoes. <laughs> it's weird that you get that luxury, dude. With as many uh, mistakes as you've made, Andrea always checks my work immediately. Yeah, yeah. I never get the, I get to execute yeah. it and then walk and then just let it sit. Yeah. Well, she just assumed, like, someone's going to help you the whole time and uh, fit the shoe. And she, she told me, she's like, just tell them the truth or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. You, never <laughs> you are the biggest liar of everyone because you just want to make everyone else comfortable. Does. Well, when I was walking around with the clown shoes, I was like, I feel big and like a bunch yeah. of room in you there. You looked at the guy getting the shoes on your feet and he smiled and you're like, well, he must like them. <laughs> he her. likes them, so I like yeah, them. Yeah, Mission yeah. accomplished. Yeah. I made everyone in the shoe yeah. store happy. It, it feels like I'm wearing a coin sack. <laughs> <laughs> a crown royal bag. <laughs> so, so much room. <laughs> like I'm wearing a laundry bag on my foot. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's cinched up top of my ankles and big room in the middle. Oh, and uh, so so I, I take him out. And this Chris- is an all-time low for you, I feel like. <laughs> this is a bumble. And then Crystal's like, whoa! So <laughs> are giant and I'm like yeah I'm like yeah, I, this is the one that he said is the biggest toe box so I put them on and then I'm walking around my house and then I'm slipping and the slip on no like the inside there's so much they're room tubing. in them and then I'm, I'm like oh, god damn it's like walking in a sack and just, like, my back my heels are sliding out of it well, they, why did you he feel that when he, he told me that he said they're too big he said he why did you feel that he said he so, put them on he went to walk to show Crystal and his heels just went <laughs> like yeah. out of the top. I'm like, well, then what did you? Oh my god! I can turn my feet. I can turn my feet around and tell them. Oh my fucking god! I can look the other way. <laughs> <laughs> They're round. They're just They're all around the front. Just, the front and I'm big. It was like, a, is it a UFO <laughs> shoe? Yeah. yeah, it's like you smashed a cartoon shoe flat. Oh, yeah. like you, you know how like uh, you know the oh, shit. the hamburger shoes. Are yeah. big no, I get it. The front. I think it's are big and black, but they're yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, the round toes. <laughs> That's what it is. So then Chris is like, what the hell did you buy? And then I'm like, I don't know. I just, I panicked. And the person's like, this is you the biggest did. one. And I was like, it doesn't touch anymore. And he's like, well, this must be it then. And he, and then he said that he, sometimes they're wide. So then she's like, go back and exchange them. Oh, oh. That sucks. So then I go back. <laughs> <laughs> this but, is where the story starts. <laughs> but the, the person that helped me isn't there. Well, he got uh, fired. He, was, <laughs> he yeah. never worked there to begin with. So you were supposed to sell those. Those were joke shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a new person. So I go back and I'm like, excuse me. I'm like, I bought these shoes and I think they're too big for me. And she's like, oh, okay. But That's she, weird. But, but normally we give the best customer service and we measure the feet. <laughs> but uh, here's the problem. Because because the person didn't help me buy them, now this person doesn't get commission. Correct. So oh. they're probably not. And now I don't know this to be true, but this is what I'm uh, formulating in no, my head. They don't like the return, and then they yeah. have to help you with the return. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some places will give that other person the commission because they're helping them, but yes. lo- some places won't. Right. So, so I put them on, and then I'm walking around like they're all wide. <laughs> they're, they're ah, my, I see you slip sliding around. <laughs> my feet are. Uh, they're all oh, loose. Uh, so like, did you try tightening them? <laughs> <laughs> have you t- tried lacing them up, sir? <laughs> And she's like, yeah, and she's like, you can do this runner's, uh, you know, tighten the trick. And she puts it through the double loop and she tightens it. Oh, did that make you feel like a man uh, having I, a yeah, woman yeah. Uh, tie your shoes yeah. down there? I like it when Andrea buckles my belt. She's like, wow, you have so much room in your toes. So she, she tightened them all around my ankle. So were my feet are falling asleep. Asleep. Were they so your ankles are tight, but your toes are like this. Toes all, your so toes I'm, are swimming. So walking around, and I'm like, it's still pretty loose. And she's like, that's, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> so no. I just put them 
Oh, my, oh my God. I can't do nothing. I just, <laughs> nothing can it. be done. It can't be stopped. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Now, what, like, what length? Are they size 12, 13? What are they, what are they this way? Oh, they're all big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, what size shoe do you normally wear? They they're not a, even a, sizes. They're a just ten. X, XL. Oh, so a 10, 10 and I was going to say, I'll, if you don't want them, I, I need to run no, them. No, I have to. I'm going to have to. I have to run them now. Take them back, Tom. He has no choice. Try to sell them on eBay. I think How are you going to run in those in the triathlon? They said they were fine. The lady saw you me. You couldn't walk around your kitchen. What about your old shocks? Could you just wear your Nike shocks no, for the race? They said at the shoe store, they asked, they said, what kind of shoes do you have? I said, Nike's. They're like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they looked down on yeah. They're like, they, oh, do. Oh, they really do. Those are the, the, the those shoes are more of the Those are more for fashion. <laughs> anyway. Damn. All right. So you'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring them here one day. So we're training? How's out. training yeah. going? Everybody asks. We get emails about it. I like to call it practicing, okay? Because uh, training sounds pompous. Uh, you love pompous, <laughs> yeah. But he also th- thinks that uh, he's always worried about what people feel yeah, about yeah. him, and he thinks if you're that if like, he I'm training, training who the fuck are you, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so I got to uh, today. I got to ride a bike for forty minutes and then swim for twenty minutes. Okay, and, and you uh, said the swimming's your hardest part so far. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you uh, you said have, it's... have you ever tried to swim even for five minutes straight? I can't. It is so wait, that, hard. I used to bring all the fighters to train with me to swim. Because that was the hardest cardio that it, I was preparing yeah. for a fight was swimming. So and that's being why I did smooth, it. like trying to just do, and I would challenge anybody to try to do this. Just swim and then do like the correct stroke and then oh, yeah. lean your head out and breathe. If you can do that like smoothly, it's very hard. Well, for a long period of time yeah. because I gotta, I have to just do down it and back for smoothly. fifteen minutes, and there's no place like eventually in the pool. I, I I'm like, Duh! I freak out and then stand up, and I'm out of breath, and I'm yeah. like, I can't do this in a goddamn intercoastal. You can. It's just gonna look <laughs> weird. <laughs> but you can't if you're see, wearing those shoes, I, I have to like, I guess, backstroke, or I don't know what to do if I start panicking out there. What about one of those? Uh, little yeah. things? Oh you turn over and float. What about you just one of those floor. things that powered? Are you, know? you gonna be wearing your clown shoes while you're swimming? Because that might be a problem that way. No, down. that actually might push them forward like flippers. <laughs> he said they're heavy. <laughs> yeah, all they might sink you to the bottom. Apparently, there's judges to this thing. I thought this was judges? a charity. What thing. are they judging? I don't know. My coach said they're ju- like they their don't shoes. Like they're uh, like I'm like I'm you get the worst swimming award. No, no. What are they judging? They're looking Obviously for cheaters. Yeah, but, cheaters. Yeah, yeah. Like you, I, I was, it's not even uh, real. It's a fitness competition. <laughs> you weirdos. <laughs> like you can't wear like ankle uh, flotation devices. Because I was like, you looked into it. Yeah. Because like, it's the kicking that makes me tired. I just want to drag. Yeah, because my... you got a little bitty leg. <laughs> I want to drag my legs behind no. me and just swim yeah. with my upper uh, That's body. Called the old dog, <laughs> Johnny Bravo. Yeah. What's your swim style? It's, it's the wheel. old dog. It's a wheelchair. <laughs> Don't call him that. <laughs> oh, that, that. My legs are so skinny. Wheelchair you got to start training to feel comfortable with that. You know the little, the little. It looks like a little. Uh, Arrow that you hold on to—it's a flotation. That's how I train my legs to get because I like my upper body too. I just held on to that. I couldn't use my hands, and I just had yeah, to the kick. board. The, whole, the board. You have yeah, to do that. I did that like for a, a mile. Board, right? No, didn't, no. Didn't that's Coach Greasers bring that? It's over? embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Greasers propped up her Greasers and yeah. went down and back. She, she, and probably asked she you to told do me that. other swimmers make fun of people that use a kickboard. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, uh, yeah, they, uh, they, they laugh at them. They didn't do it to my face. That's true. They probably will. They probably will. They're swimmers. All right, let's take a break. And when we come back, I know Seth's. Got some uh, a couple stories. Yeah, we um, need to check in, see what's been. Although they're all bad, so we're gonna have to change. Uh, Jackal's gonna have to change the intro. Is it, is it <laughs> one, one, one is co- one is good that uh, I like. Oh, bad, right, I right, guess. Right. I thought. It, <laughs> Has he gone, I mean, I guess. Did he go all bad? Uh, it I mean, I guess like, you feel like it's yeah. not bad. It's just bad shit that's been happening to me. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're gonna walk through that <laughs> a little bad. bit. Um, I forgot to play these a couple of weeks ago, but I wanted to play a couple of songs from our friends, The Attack. They put out an EP relatively recently. We're going to play a couple songs from them off of their Get Lost EP. The name of the song is Vagabond. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time right after this. one 844 Show at TomAndDan.com for last-minute emails. I just had American Air and Heat come by my house and do some preventative maintenance. Nice. Um, it's good to schedule that every, you know, seven to eight months. Well, when it's cool right now, not a bad idea because we all know it's going to get disgustingly yeah. and just amazingly hot. And what they'll do is they'll check your whole system. And then my outside unit had a bunch of leaves that were inside, uh, like underneath yeah. the fan stuff. Were those the leaves you're pulling off up. your roof <laughs> and dumping them into the air conditioner? Yeah, well, they just fall in there. So we cleaned all those out. 
cleaned all the coils around the outside unit, yeah. like where the fan is, to make it run more efficiently. Yeah, you dig it out, make it look nice. Yeah, and so, and then also my where the water drips out, it was the leaves were clogged that, so it was backing yeah. up. You know, so I, you know, I had it could have been bad. Apparently, people other than American Air and Heat don't know how to fix the townhomes that we live in. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just sent American Air and Heat our contact to one of the dance moms that Andrea knows. They live in a center unit like we do. They don't have the pump that pushes the water out to the end of the unit, and their ceiling started leaking, just like mine. Okay, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm like, oh, I got the guys. I have them. I know the gentleman that will install the pump. He'll fix it. It'll be perfect. I, the fact that, that no one else knows how to do this, uh, hey, American Air and Heat does. Yep. I can guarantee it. Also, it may be good for you to sign up to, with their loyalty program, uh, which also includes like a preventative maintenance, uh, one free emergency call, and th- you know, just have the peace of mind that if something does happen, yeah. you know, you're a part of that program. But uh, maybe you ever been need- without AC? It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, obviously, I talk to them about getting a whole new unit because it could save you a bunch of money on your energy bill it's if you an got an old unit. Man, yeah. it's like there's a couple things we talk about here. You know, we talk about your your roof, we talk about your air. I mean, these are important, yeah, yeah. like the two most important parts of your house. Dude, it ended up saving me like a hundred bucks a month, uh, yeah. especially in the summer. So talk to them. It's AmericanAirAndHeat.com. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time. The Spark STEM Fest is this weekend at the Orlando Science Center, so it's going to be a rainy weekend. Mm-hmm. If you're looking for something to do with your family, uh, go by the Science Center, osc.org. I uh, know they have Science Night Live on Saturday. Yeah. There's a, it's adults only, adult beverages. You can get your tickets at osc.org. Light bites to eat. Uh, when, also, uh, you know, you're kind of mingling around there. Yep. Also, the Porch Fest on next weekend, uh, Saturday the 24th, we're Porch number 14. Daniel and I will be out there, and uh, you're going to hang out at the Sanford Porch Fest. Uh, this Sunday, uh, Sam's uh, seven-year anniversary is yeah. happening at Rock Pit yeah. Brewery. What time is that? Uh, what time are you kicking, we're kicking everything that off? off at noon. Okay. Um, yeah. So just uh, come to Rock Pit Brewing around noon. We're going to be hanging out, grabbing some beers. We're going to have a walk it out contest. If you guys are interested in entering, you can win a what's in the box prize pack. I love that. I had to look that up. But uh, easy to participate and a heck of a lot of fun. If you've never been to Rock Pit, uh, great uh, reason to head out there and, and check it out. They right. have a distillery now, right? Yeah, they're distilling like moonshine. Yeah. They're working on some tequila. I think they're going to drop their first tequila, tequila drink on our event. So, Man, I love Come tequila. Yeah, definitely. All right, Seth, you yeah. got some stories for us? Or yeah. Are we or doing the, is it good and bad? Yeah, or, uh, uh, yeah. We just, I like the intro. I do. Okay. You can play the intro, but it's basically just my life being <laughs> fucking chaotic. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Let me well, pull they, it up here. They, they are bad Seth's stories. Chaos. Some good. <laughs> Mostly yeah. bad. My uh, computer is not cooperating. I oh, apologize. Fine, yeah, yeah. I can get it. I, I can will get have it. some good stories because Tom this weekend. Tom Waller's. I haven't seen him in a couple of years. He's visiting and coming into town. We're all gonna. Oh really? Hang out. I got a. I got a potential babysitter for Saturday night. My first time having a babysitter for Vera. So a little nervous about that. But so is your first time going out um, going town? Yeah. Okay. Right. We think we're going out. I don't know. He, we're, everyone's back and forth with what we're doing. <clears throat> we're trying to like be like responsible adults now, but then also like relive. The glory days. The glory days. <laughs> so we're well, not sure. We're not sure how we're going to play. Filthy it. Tom Lawler. Is he a dad yet? Or no? oh yeah, he's got a six, seven, oh. eight year old. Or oh, okay. yeah, he's been for a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So here has we he go. calmed down uh, or still? Well, filthy he's tra- Tom? he travels like literally every week, like three, four times a week. He's re- professional wrestling, so he's like, uh, oh, okay. so he's, he's not even around. He's, <laughs> he's, 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 <laughs> not, he's <laughs> not around. He's not around. It's the easiest well, way. I mean, if I was a seven eight year old, it's the easiest way to parent. It is. Because you're kind of not. He's a great. That when he's around, but I, yeah. I mean, it's quality, Man, it's not around. It's quality yeah. over quantity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope he beats you. <laughs> Could he we'll beat cut you this up? part out. No, 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 no. Okay, here, here, we'll, we'll do it. Hi, me, Seth. We're gonna tell you a couple stories, okay? You're gonna be impressed. Me tell you two stories, one good, one bad. Me tell you a good one. Me promise you will laugh. Wait. Why me see chat room say good ones seem kind of bad? Huh. One story good. One story bad. He just told one, one story feel happy. One story me sad. 
One story, me big, big hero. The next, me douchebag. One story, me good. Me really good. Me telling you this story good. One story, me bad. KarateOfOrlando.com. It, it's so good. It's <laughs> such a good song. Yeah. All right, Sam. did a good job. He's, you got the Tiny Tigers, right? Yeah, Tiny Tigers. We are doing that now. Um... That's part of my story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, how did I nail it? Uh, oh, so, uh, it up uh, so I, poo, huh? <laughs> I, I was starting a. Well, we had him start at four years old, and then I was like, you know, it's a great idea. I get so many calls for three year olds. Not young enough. <laughs> Which is your motto? And my, oh. and my instructor hey. told me, he's like, we don't start until six, Seth. He's like, he's like, God bless you. He's like, you want to do that? He's like, go. I don't know how you're doing four year olds now. And I'm like, is I'm going to do cowboy. We don't not start. Yeah. Yeah. I expected no offense. What well, did you want me to be like? Oh. I, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it was jarring to hear. Say, so, yeah, if you want to do that, that's your business. Yeah. Three. His wife. Old. His wife did sound the, the Japanese way. She's okay. like, oh, Sasu-san, I don't know about that. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I want. So, three years old is a baby. It's <laughs> a baby. You know, that's a baby, and I forget that. Because because like, there's a kid I know that like, um, like there uh, friends of mine have a kid, and they were like, "Oh yeah, our kid uh, is walking at like one and some change," and I'm like, "Holy smokes!" You know, like, yeah. cause I like I don't. I, it's funny how quickly you lose the concept of what an actual baby is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have a kid now. Yeah, and then I didn't realize that like uh, I'm thinking three year olds. Okay, three. I don't know how when they potty train. I had to Google like, "Hey Google, when will Vera or when will my baby talk or when will my baby?" If you put the baby's name diapers. in there, it actually give you more detail. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so I have no idea. I thought three years old they'd be like, you know, in diapers. Out of, I don't know. I thought they'd be out of diapers and potty trained. By yeah, now, right. I think that. I right. Think, I, I think that it you depends. You are assuming the same thing that all dads assume. So you're in yeah. the norm here. Okay. Yeah, I think most dads don't know that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's typically. Yeah, so unfortunately, it's a trial by any trial. You learn yeah. as a guy. Unfortunately, I think most moms come <laughs> to you and say, like, "Hey, we need to start doing this and yeah. right. kind of thing." Right. Not in Castleberry. <laughs> How do you do it, Castleberry? Like, uh, yeah, we, we'll have the, Let Castle- the streets teach them. Castleberry babies will tell you they shit their pants, <laughs> and then they have to be changed while they're smoking, <laughs> or at least tell me like if they have to go, be like, I have to go to the bathroom, I have to go to the bathroom, I have to pee pee or something yeah. like that. About three like, is yeah. when you start training, though. Yeah, yeah, okay, is yeah, what yeah. the chat room saying. But it, it so. could go all the way to five. You know, I think it like, can. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, if you're oh. a little lazy about it, do you know it, what you know? yours was? I don't know what mine was. Well, I don't know what mine was. I could have been a late potty training person. I know I didn't stick to the regiment they tell you to. Uh, I just uh, did whatever I thought was are right. You, are you talk- oh, you're talking about teaching your own kid? Yeah, like, yeah. No, like, I'm talking about me as a kid. Like, oh, like I don't. Well, remember. I wasn't potty trained until like ten. Probably I was. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, throwing I poop in the that. shower. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can believe that. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you know what people think about that? <laughs> yeah, I don't like, think they do think show. you're different when you do those things. Yeah. So my instructor, my, my sensei, told me a horror story about a when horror he was story. Horror story. <laughs> when he when he was doing the four year olds, when he was teaching the four year olds, uh, th- I'll make this fast. Kid was punching. Noticed he had something like in his hand as he was punching. <laughs> went up to the kid and be like, like, hey, what's in your hand? What, what's going on? What do you got? <laughs> and the kid goes. He's like, show me what's in your hand. He's just shaking his head. He's like, Whip. he grabbed his hand, turned over, opened it up, uh, poo poo. <laughs> right. You will know. Piece you will shit. be ready when you can snatch the poo poo from piece my ass. Piece of shit. Right? It's like, is that uh, a Casper? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's how you know. That's how you train a Casper kid. You, a Casper kid, if he can snatch the shit out of your hand, then he passes to the next level, becomes yeah. Casper ninja. So, ninja, Casper ninja. So from the poop, he's like, he, he was old enough to tell him to go in the bathroom, wash your hands, clean up, and come back out. And then the kid went in the bathroom. I don't know. Ten minutes later, the kid came out. My my instructor walked in the bathroom. That poop was all over the walls. <laughs> was all over the toilet seat. Was all in the sink. <laughs> Why did he smear all the walls? He smeared it. He smeared no, it. a girl in my second grade class did this. People second love grade. smearing You're shit. You're like seven. We had a grown ass man on the monster cruise that did it. A black guy. I forget the guy's name. He was Don't friends with. He was what? friends. Stop. Really good friends with Justin. Stop. What? Justin is the founder. <laughs> founder Justin. Come on. No, so, I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to interview that guy. No. I'm like, what were you thinking? No, Why did you rub your poo on the mirror of the of the the image? Seashore. Or he's blacked out drunk. <laughs> so he may have... I've been blacked out drunk hundreds, maybe thousands of times, and I have never, ever grabbed my own shit and just started rubbing but, it. But I think you're closer than any of us because you have grabbed your own shit. 
I mean, I have two. <laughs> You're closer but I to did going it, I did it for, no, 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 I did it for no, no, medical no. reasons. For medical reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you, you know two You're, are closer you than You are Tom and that's I. Hippocratic Oath, and you're shaming me about a medical yeah, condition. Yeah, that's true, too. I you said it on air. <laughs> yeah, I wrap my hand in toilet paper so I can reach down and hold my own shit to stare at the color of it so I know uh, whether or so not my liver is So you're closer to using a poo-poo crayon than Tom and I. <laughs> I, can't disagree, I can't disagree with that, but that, but I've never been blacked out drunk and thought, I'm just, uh, as I'm passing out and rubbing my shit everywhere. So my story isn't as bad. But dealing with the three year olds has definitely been a struggle when it comes to like the pee pee stuff. Okay. So, uh, the other Tiny tigers, oh what are you doing? God. So, the other day, uh, this was a couple of weeks ago. I love this kid to death. He's, all, he's actually one of my better three year olds. Uh, we do something Benny, called. don't shit in your hand, Benny. <laughs> no, You're the pee. best. It wasn't one. as bad. So, we do something called Swatta Gettys. Swatta Gettys just means Swatta means seated, Getty means kick. So, it's seated kicks. You squat down on the ground. Are you doing a sweat again? Hold on. Oh, wait, you got that other camera. Where's your crotch cam? Where's crotch cam? cam. Hold on. There we go. Squat down like this. Hands out to your side. You stand up. You throw a kick, and you go back down and squat. You go up, throw a kick. And go back down. And Those squat. are squash skeddies. That's hard. That's squat to get it. All right. That's why I can't get do that because of my hips. I can't get that low. So well, that's why we, we work on your flexibility with your hips with your like <laughs> So anyway, we do about ten of them, and. I would do like 15 usually. That's, uh, the kid doesn't move prime anymore. Prime shit and stand. <laughs> well, the kid doesn't move anymore. And I'm like, come on, do some more. Like, we're, we're not finished yet. You can do it. What's the matter? And he, you're he's not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing a swat of Getty? No, come on, pussy. No. And, and he's like, I, 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 I'm like, what? He's like, I, I had an accident. And as soon as he said I had an accident, I know he either shit himself or <laughs> So I go, okay, okay. Do you need help? He's like, I'm like, okay, then stand up. Okay, stand up. You were a child. <laughs> so I pick him yeah. up. I pick him up by his shoulders, and then it looks like Vera. Like when I pick her up, and there's a puddle of pit. Just, was, oh, I'm talking man. like I'm talking like a dinosaur pee amount under the whole the whole mess. What, what a quantity! <laughs> what, what a description! <laughs> a fucking author a dinosaur, over here. A dinosaur pee amount. I, I, I don't even yeah, know. I what got that what you were saying. Is. Is that a that's gallon? Actually, you know what? That's one of the most elegant things you've okay, ever said. I don't know. Oh, no, it was elegant. There are big animals that exist. Right. <laughs> I don't know how much a dinosaur pee. A dinosaur. I got it. Dinosaurs are bigger than our animals now. <laughs> no, no, Most all dinosaurs are shocked. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. could have said Those elephant, go. hippo, or anything. <laughs> anything all, I know is, all I know is the kid weighs about 30 pounds. There was a 30-pound circle of pee under him. Like, oh, I, don't I mean, there's yeah. tiny little bird dinosaurs that run <laughs> yeah. around. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen in Jurassic Park. So as I did that, and, and this is what surprised me. Jurassic Park. <laughs> and this is what surprised me is that the other kids, at my at when I was their age, I would have seen that and be like, ew, you pissed, you pee. Oh, they all started yeah, doing kids it, too. No, kids don't bully nowadays. Hell no. Yeah. They just looked at it and go, yep. uh, they look straight ahead him. and they act like it wasn't even there. And I had to get, I threw, put him in the bathroom. I put him in the bathroom, had his mom. I'm like, hey, you need to go in the bathroom. She offered to clean it up. And I probably should have had her do that. But I but I got the mop out. It looks better if the owner does yeah, it. Just I, for I, retaining I, I cleaned tigers. the whole thing up. And as I was doing that, I was mopping piss up. I was giving <laughs> I was Sorry, giving, oh, wow. is this your dreams? <laughs> <laughs> no, but wait, Jojo, Jojo but wait, owner. I looked in the mirror as I was doing that and giving count, and I shit you not, my theme song was playing in my head, yes. like the da no 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 just this depressing music as I was <laughs> What was your theme the, song? The, the stupid good, song, the, the jackal good, bad, song. The jackal oh, song. The, it was just a, just a depressing like, moment. But the I one looked, we just played, Tom. God damn like, it. Oh. And I'm I was like, like, you have a theme song? <laughs> Tom's not even listening to the show. Yeah, And I'm like, what am I doing for a hundred bucks <laughs> <laughs> Get paid more than anybody else that comes. And sits no, there. not here. I have oh. hundred bucks a student right a month. For this. <laughs> <laughs> I can swear. So I'm mopping. So I'm mopping. I'm giving count, but then like everything oh. is just going away as they're like. But that pee pee, it falls underneath the mat. Oh. 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 It's soaking in. Yeah, yeah, now it's, it's underneath there. there. So not only that, pull up the it's whole, compromised. Not only that, but I have to change the mop head out because I can't use that same pee pee mop to clean. Biohazard. Yeah. I mean, you can. You can if you're the owner. If you work. There, you absolutely yeah, yeah. can mop with a piss mop. If you so, flush it in the toilet a couple times, if I... <laughs> so the that's next a, that's a hack. There's a life hack for you. The next day, I had a parent come in. Uh oh, and uh, we got no, uh, no, no, no. We have a conflict here. Oh. Tracy says she cleaned it up. Well, she, no, she did not. Okay, oh. she started cleaning it up. I finished. This cleaning. is all. Oh. Like, I, I thought you said Tracy. I thought you meant our Tracy. No, <laughs> his like, wife. What the fuck yeah. is happening? She, in all caps, said, "I cleaned it, not you. Don't lie." Oh, did she wow. ask her who? Yeah, mo- no, she started. She oh went and got. God. She went and got freaking. 
Oh, you're towels to dab. Hammond. Like, what are you doing to dab it? So I've got oh, the mop. Oh, she's about to call in. Oh, oh shit. Bullshit. You get the old Petrozelli <laughs> oh, mop. God, she's down there. <laughs> she, she's running her breast pump while you got her down there mopping. No, I her. said, what are you doing? I'm like, breast pumps. I got mad at her and I said, don't use it. Why are you using hand towels to get a mop? And I got a mop and I did. You idiot. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> well, you gotta soak up the Why are you puddle. Paper towels. No, you, you don't. You do bring up a good point because Tommy a- and Max has told me this multiple times. Where like a kid like threw up and like I'll be like, "Hey, how's school today?" And like uh, some kid threw up in my class, and then I'm like, "Oh man, they must be clowning them good for the rest of the night." You know, it doesn't happen yeah. anymore. And then like, no, like they ran up. They're like, "Oh, are you okay?" They felt bad for them. Yeah, they got empathy. Yeah, they have empathy. And I was like, "What?" God forbid our yeah. children are finally like, being taught empathy. I'm like, we would have called him Puke and Pete for the entire... Puke and Pete! Like, like he, 100%. He'd be Puke and Pete up until I still he graduated that, high school. I still and know the girl that puked on me in, during the pledge. Well, Chungus I still know Puke Among Us is always going to be Chungus Puke Among Us. <laughs> until he died. I don't yeah, even yeah. know his real name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I, I was wart squirt for a little bit. Ew! And it, wart I squirt? Because I squirted my wart on a girl in it when I was frozen Oh, off. she's calling in. She called me squirt Line wart two. squirt. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> when you get it frozen off, it fills up with Tracy, ice. welcome to the show. I, I heard that you were calling in to make a, a correction. I think she's not thinking right. Uh-oh. Yes. Sorry. Sarah is sleeping right now, so I have to be quiet. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But well. I did clean it. You yelled at me for the way that I was going to clean it, and then I got the mop. And, and then, I cleaned it, you turd. Oh, oh she's turd. so sweet. Oh, it's like an Andrea level <laughs> insult. You turd. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, a, she's so sweet. I thought I grabbed the mop. For it, did it. No, I, really, no, I swear to God, I'm pulling up the camera. I cleaned it. I grabbed the mop. I mopped it all up. And I, then I you... You got the fucking van to dry it off. Oh. <laughs> a big industrial wow. This is fucking in there because it got hot. This is how it starts. <laughs> <This> <laughs> this is how it starts. Yeah. This is how the cracks yeah, yeah. start forming. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the foundation. This is how you sell your boat. It starts with a mop. It's sailing away now. <laughs> yeah, start. Right, the the starts motorcycle's with... definitely going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already <laughs> sure to got that. Yeah, you were still... You just moved the kids and you started teaching them, like, continue teaching them as I'm sitting here fucking mopping everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a bad look. I mean, we right? could like, pivot the bit to have Tracy call. I'm like, no, it's fine. Like, I got it. Like, I'll, I'll just clean it for you. Okay, well, then that's And then you tried job, yelling then? at me for, like, I was, <laughs> well, fuck you. I was about to use the Lysol, and you're like, no, don't use that. So you told me to get the other. It shit. messes so up the phone. Oh, no, no, she was getting Lysol wipes. wipes. I paid ten thousand dollars for these floors. No, it wasn't Lysol wipes. It was Lysol spray. I was gonna spray it all over, like Even on the worse. floor. So Tracy, let's talk about you making Seth. <laughs> I never get uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable right now. Get rid of his motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yep. how'd that conversation go? Um, well, he keeps wanting to get rid of his car, so I tell him, no, if you're going to get rid of something, then you need to get rid of your motorcycle yeah, it's more me so that I can have a car. Uh, you don't have a car? Oh, my God, she's stranded. So she's she's being yelled at for cleaning. And she's trapped. We have, get your wife a car? We have a horror vehicle. We have my Scout, my, my T-Rex, my Hellcat, her <laughs> piece of shit Chevy. They're a bunch of Chevy. tactical vehicles. They're a bunch of douchebag. You have a baby. You have a bunch of douchebag tactical vehicles. Like, you have, like, falling through the ceiling. Oh, my God. She can done. take it's the Delta Force Cruiser. Or she can take the tactical hang <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> She's not going to have her Chevy for much longer. A couple more weeks, and we have to get, get that back. Possibly. Get that back. <laughs> So we're going to have my... She can drive my Hellcat and I'll drive my TRX. It's, it's fine. And I have the Scout too. Yeah, she's you a guys, mom. You say that, but then you're going to get so fucking frustrated trying to get her car seat in and out of your truck because it's so high up. No, I don't. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah, driving yeah. the... You've got to get a van, dude. you got to get a van. You're going to be taking your daughter around in the Hellcat. That Hellcat is, a, a, is a death machine. It's too loud for her. <laughs> her sweet little ears need to be... Yeah. No. He wants to put her in his truck, which is ten times louder than his car. No, no, not <laughs> that sweet baby you. angel. What? No, sir. What that kind of, but she wants to get a stupid a car. A van. You need a van. She wants to get a yeah. Volvo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes! 
No. <laughs> my sensei, my instructor has the Volvo, and she's like, well, You are like it. It's a great car. <laughs> Volvo is a Domatello of vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stick. It's the stick. It's the safest yeah. vehicle in the entire fucking world. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. Why, yeah, that's why Domitello. <laughs> yeah, Domitello drives it. <laughs> get a purple Volvo. <laughs> you get a purple Volvo. Uh, get a and I told her that I would get. Uh, I told her that I would. I would compromise and get a Hellcat Durango. And Tracy, <laughs> <laughs> those are pretty cool. Yeah. Those are very. Cool. Let's talk about the boat, Tracy. That boat's no. just sitting there. No. It's a hundred thousand yeah, dollars. You, you gotta, can resell it. You gotta get rid of it. You can resell it for six I, figures. I told him to take it out the other weekend, but he didn't want to. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh shit! Yeah. I didn't, oh, what? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's coming. You did not tell me what. <laughs> she told you when she yeah. was cleaning up the pit. No. <laughs> you didn't hear because yeah, you, you were daydreaming about your own theme song. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Why didn't you take it out? It really was. Because it's a pain in the ass to go out by yourself. It's not going to anything I say either, so. You want, uh, what? What'd you say? I said, you don't listen to me. Whatever I talk. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. I'm very uncomfortable right now. Uh, What'd you say? I do listen to you, baby. I love you. Oh, oh, yeah. Take me back, baby. Oh, yeah. we'll make up on that. Oh. Before uh, the baby showed up, I did not hear this, con- <laughs> this conversation. Yeah, from you from you <laughs> Everything was rosy. She was sitting here on the couch rubbing his leg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it adds a little stress. Uh, yeah, you know. It does. It I'm does. just saying. It's just we don't have a lot of time for other things now with, with the baby. Yeah. Let's, the, sell, let's, sell that, let's sell that truck. Let's sell the Hellcat. No, let's the sell the boat. Let's get rid of that motorcycle. Yeah. Let's just sell the motorcycle let's and get, then get me yeah. a car. Now. Let's, let's get, get that Volvo. Yeah, let's get a sensible Volvo uh, and then maybe a uh, Subaru Force. <laughs> <laughs> Number one car in 2024. <laughs> you said straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Best resale value of any car in its class I'm trying to push her to like, like a Jaguar F-Pace or something fun. Oh yeah, something completely unreliable <laughs> by a horrible company. I told no, you, I was down for that Durango. Okay. So. Right, right, right. She'll meet you at Durango. But I really, the Volvo. Vera yeah, was the Volvo. Volvo, sen- Vera, the V. No, the V thing. Yeah, yeah the V sen- thing. Sensible uh, Durango. No, yeah. uh, we're not doing nothing, nothing unless I get my... Uh, my members, more three rolls in the dojo. <laughs> <laughs> more so pee pee. Gotta get the numbers. <laughs> well, see what I did to get the numbers up was the, the the next day a woman came in and asked me if I have dealt with autistic kids before teaching. Ah, oh. and I have, oh. sort of, <laughs> oh. but not uh, not. I I didn't realize there was definitely a big spectrum oh, yeah. of on the autistic. <laughs> Wait, I told him that we don't need to be accepting autistic kids because honestly, there are a lot. Like I love them; they're so sweet and they try so hard. But they lose attention, like their attention span is like so fucking There's short. No. They do one thing right, and then like they're running around the entire fucking dojo. There's great crowds. Yeah, they'll piss your floor good. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't that. I had to clean all the mirrors because they they were licking the mirrors all the time. <laughs> stop it! Just stop. You stop. And there's handprint smears all over the mirror. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> yeah, and you love the handprints. The handprints hand smears. So there's I have, I have, t- I have, t- I have, t- I, have t- I have, t- well, I have two now that I'm working with, but it's, it's taking a lot of my time and patience. So when I get it home, like- when I get home, I don't have a lot of patience left. <laughs> it sounds like you start kicking the dog. Around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start yelling and screaming. Because <laughs> yeah. he got Getting the home. tiny tigers. He got the autistic tigers. Yeah, he got autistic tigers. everywhere. You're kicking yeah, yeah. the dog. So, but, <laughs> Well, it's, it's bad for my adults. You gotta sell your motorcycle, you gotta sell all your cars, buy a fucking nerd mobile. Oh man, this is, this this is, is exactly man. what I wanted. This is awesome. Really, that isn't the one that's really like chasing after them or like helping them. Like I'm the one that's like going over there. What? Because you're the good one. Bullshit. You're the good one. You're the Dan. You're the Dan in this relationship. She's making herself sound like the hero in this. You're the Dan. You're the Dan in this relationship. I believe Tracy. You come to a fucking like. You guys need to come to karate class for tiny tigers and watch what happens. Oh, I will. I'll be there. Go to show. Go to show. Look, look. I'm the main. Can we go record a show? I'm gonna send a three-year-old. I'm gonna go in as a three-year-old undercover. Fat three-year-old. But it's gonna be Tom. 
mom wipe the boogers <laughs> on the mirror. <laughs> so, really fast, because I know this is taking a long time. There's three, but, there's three year olds, kidneys in the world, and that Coca Cola piss. So, <laughs> so, he's smoking uh, so, to make up for, real fast, to make up for my how stressed I was, I did, the first time in five years, I did a movie day for the advanced kids' karate class. <laughs> a movie day? <laughs> you brought it in a TV. I rolled it. I rolled in a giant, my giant Android TV thing. Yeah, yeah. It's badass. It's on a little wheelie thing you see on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Everything. yeah. thing was not good. Yeah, you put good that buy. up and you're like, we're going to, tonight Best we're watching a never ending story. <laughs> Best $1,600 I ever spent was that damn thing. Woo. It was awesome. Yeah, but the parents are paying you to teach your kids karate. Yeah. Well, well movie this version. is what I did. I showed him one of the best. You guys want to piss the floor while you're watching the movie? <laughs> I don't give a fuck anymore. My blood spark. He tips his hands in the glass. Yeah, that's, that's kickboxer. Oh. Anyway, I showed him the documentary that shaped me as a kid at eight, nine, ten years old. It was called it's called Budo, the the art of killing. <laughs> and I had oh, you talked about this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's called Budo, the, the art, art of killing. killing. <laughs> and and I forgot it's a cartoon. <laughs> no, it's an eighties, early eighties documentary, and our founder of this Gradius is Budo is featured in it. But what I totally forgot about the movie is Budo that Budo has sticks like Domatello. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that at the beginning, there's the whole first two minutes is a ritual suicide video. <laughs> And then, Seth, and then at the very end, this is the worst you've ever done. And at the very end, the whole show needs to be canceled, taken off, like so cut off. I did ritual sh- suicide. Uh, seppuku, yeah, where the samurais committed ritual suicide. But I didn't show it. I saw that it was about to happen, just and I got in front of the, the screen. Just listen to the audio. I got in front of the screen and I slid my just finger across and I fast forwarded it. <laughs> so. And then the ending, I forgot that there's a duel Bobby's between still two. Dead. Sam- <laughs> okay, there, there, we're on. We're on to the next part. At, at the ending, two samurai run at each other and one cuts the other's head off and the head goes flying. <laughs> and I had to fa- I had to stop it before that turn. I'm like, no, no, you How guys can't watch these kids. <laughs> these are three year olds. No, <laughs> <laughs> I got so scared I pissed at <laughs> Eight to eleven. Uh, so, but the whole part, the whole documentary was really, really good. Oh I had them write God. down questions about the documentary. I had them write down things that they liked about it, and they all had interesting questions and things. You should read some of those. No, stuff I'm not going to read. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? I liked the head. <laughs> <laughs> they said, "Why were the sumo's butts hanging out?" <laughs> the sumo butts. Yes. Stupid kids. <laughs> I saw their butt. I saw their booty butt. One kid, one kid was like, "I like it whenever they get thrown on the ground." No, I, like, I like it when they get thrown on the ground. Hey, Why were they? I like it when they say they would die for their master. Like hardcore, <laughs> hardcore stuff. Like really hardcore stuff. <laughs> But well, so yeah. Like anyway. that's what you fucking pulled from the movie. <laughs> Tracy, you guys are tough on him. Thanks so much for calling <laughs> in. And ca- Tracy is <laughs> Tracy is very tough on him. Right? Calling on the out, um, calling out Seth. We appreciate that. Yeah, we, we always, we will always let you set the record straight. Yeah. Always. Anytime you hear him lying, please yeah, call, call in. in. Yeah. You have a, you well, have a. I <laughs> clean it ninety percent because I think he lies all we'll, the time. We'll get you a pass. <laughs> we'll just get you a Zoom link. So if you just want to zoom in and and like anytime you just want to yeah. come in and correct his nonsense, you are allowed. Okay. All right. Give him love to you and the baby. Right. We'll Take see. care of the kid. Bye. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so uh, that was a tough one. So Seth, um, how's yeah. business? <laughs> it's, 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 it's booming good. with baby. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. No, there, there's lot tons. I'm getting a whole influx of adults lately, which is awesome. Like a lot of uh, little adults doing it. Um, isn't this the time of year when most people do get serious about yeah, fitness? Because yeah, yeah, January yeah. and beginning of February is bullshit. Yeah. And then it's usually they middle of February off. to March is when real people are like, okay, I am going to right. be serious about like eating good or moving my body. Or, or the ones that signed up. That never come back, and then it's like, okay, you weren't really serious. About it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So, but no, it's it's good. Everything's great with it. We we're, despite what you just heard, I thought where I think we're having like a good little tag team of the dojo, like where she's helping with the kids. Sounds and, a little mismatched at yeah, this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, might want to adjust the ratio. We're working the schedule out. We're, yeah, yeah. Do you have a nanny yet? My niece is helping out Mondays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday nights, so we both can go into karate. Oh, nice. So she's helping out for two, three hours those nights. So you get some family help. That's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but you don't have a, like a full-time Oh, but I'm paying nanny. her for it. <laughs> right, right. You're like, you know rich people get a full-time nanny. Yeah. And yeah, then the nanny do does it. Yeah, yeah. If I've Tracy seen it. would go, if she goes back to work, then that'll happen. But if not, then no, no, that's not yeah. Doesn't happen. she work for you? <laughs> she was just cleaning up pants. Yeah, she, that's, work. <laughs> that's not work. She's, she's teaching that. classes. That's dedication to the dojo. I'm teaching classes. She's 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 the assistant instructor. She's the senpai. She's the senpai. Go chase those autistic kids around. They're getting out into the streets. 
I'm uh, allowing the mothers or fathers, or now it's mothers, to come on the dojo mat and help out with the with the with the autistic. So it is kind of like a mommy and me type thing. Oh, well, that's uh, good. Yeah, so <laughs> with the three year olds. Yeah, yeah. I, you're like parents instead of just sitting there watching. Come out here and yeah, do yeah. some work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so work. everybody's working. <laughs> so like, yeah. Hey, you there? Like, clean, I, that, clean that piss up. Like if I, as a parent, I pay you so I can look at my phone right. for an hour and sit there in the there lobby. There is that too. No, but yeah. that's, that's what every when parent I see does. That, I hate that. I really do. They do that, and that's fine if that's their little getaway. That's fine but i really dislike when i'm teaching the kids and they're doing great and their kid did something good i look up and the parents are like i mean you can dislike it i mean i i don't know you can dislike it but you said it yourself it is my little get yeah but it's <laughs> and i get it i get it yeah, yeah. i get it i mean i'd rather than just not be in the dojo just walk outside and so they don't not even i know. like that better too even with dance like if you're yeah. just gonna be there and be on your phone just go sit in your car yeah, you don't need to be in there because like, no, like, the kids will still look at you i see the kids looking for their parents to get their approval yeah may doesn't look, want and they're not looking at them may does not want andrea or me there like she goes there she's there to dance she is like bye See you when I'm done. You don't don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, I like being there and then having the instructor and the kids know that I'm not paying attention. To it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it like, because it's like it's like I shouldn't. I'm like, why even be there? And then they think that. And then like, <laughs> you're only here because you want us to know you're here. Yeah. Oh. But Jackal's daughter, she got her brown belt. This oh, really? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, she's doing, she's doing Jackal's really, daughter. Really good. I mean, he got his belt too, and his wife got his belt, and his son got a new belt too. So his wow. whole family. Oh, his whole family. Goddamn. They've yeah, been they're, working on it for a hot. It's minute, awesome. They're though. my first big karate family. Like I grew up doing with all my family, and I've had all the other families doing it. Friends, family. It's like they're my first family in the dojo. It's really cool. Ah, to see them. Do it's you really have good. other families that are coming up through the ranks now too? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you mom, should have a family dad, tournament to see who's the the, the king head, of the family. The king of the family is, uh, you know. Oh man, it. Uh, and then this, the, that person, the winners get to piss your dojo. <laughs> <laughs> this, this it's disrespectful. This is something uh, that I didn't think was going to happen until way later. But uh, I didn't think it has we were to do. Talk about this. It has to do with martial arts. Uh, but the, the other day, um, uh, Crystal sent me a picture of Max in a martial arts class. And then, <laughs> all right, so oh, like, oh, he's cheating on you. He's cheating on you. And then, you're really mad. Like, I'm like, it's not even a joke, man. Yeah. This is why I'm saying yeah. it. This is why I'm saying <laughs> he's it. He's getting real hot. Yeah. I thought of it. I was like, oh, this is going to make a bad. Oh, yeah, remember when Max cheated well, on the. Uh... It made me mad, too, and I'll explain. Okay. So, so then I, I was like, I talked to Max about it. <laughs> I was like, what? And so Crystal told me that, it, uh, like, Max now has a friend who is a girl at school who he is kind of like his girlfriend, but he's only eight. So it's not, you know what I'm saying? Right, but it's like right. a, they don't know what that a girlfriend. He, like, they, uh, they've actually held hands before. Uh, and <laughs> the girlfriend gave Max, uh, and you should incorporate this, they they give you a, like, like a bring a buddy pass. Like a bring a buddy yeah. pass. Oh, <laughs> That's yeah. it, Marshall. The wheel and the bring yeah, the buddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, Come try it out. And I asked Max, I was like, I know this ninja guy, he could teach us karate for free if yeah. you, we could all go. For free? <laughs> and then, yeah, he wasn't he was a man. Yeah. He, 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 he just made that up. He wasn't interested uh-uh. in going with me because I wanted to do You're the father son. You're not as cool as that girl. And then uh, he went with a girl. Oh, that's that gonna break your, him. That's gonna break your heart. You gotta tell him there's a lot of other eight year old girls in the sea. And then I have a lot of them at the dojo. <laughs> this I, is the one, bro. Oh my God, don't I, say that. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's happening already. Like he's already doing something. Uh, leaving you and, for a girl and, uh, and, already. Did he have on the full outfit band. and everything? No, because it was like he went. Oh, there's he a day they just wear athletic clothes. But the parent of that uh, the parent had to go your your wife had to go though right yeah yeah no oh, she yeah. went mm-hmm. uh, have to have to so she took a picture you have to but they tried to sell her uh, oh yeah their sell was good <laughs> <Of course. laughs> no <laughs> god damn it uh, yeah. she's no, signing him already, up no Tom's I don't know yet. Going. Tom's already bought the Domatella <laughs> for his son <laughs> I said I, I, told, I told Max and Tommy father son class I'm like we're gonna go to the karate of Orlando we're gonna learn jujitsu we're gonna real stuff we're gonna piss the floor like a real ninja and then they didn't want to do it they're like not interested we want to go where the hot girls are. <laughs> but then he said, you went with a girlfriend. Oh anyway, God. that's what happens. That's It's done. I mean, I did a lot of stuff yeah, for they, girls. Yeah, yeah, they just want to go yeah. with their friends. If she signs them up, I'll be really mad at you. Not her, I'll be mad at you for not putting your foot down and be like, no. Well, maybe, it's going to be you, Tommy, and that man. Maybe you, maybe you need to uh, screen some of the, the make sure that your three-year-old, or well, how old come is on, that? Make sure your on. eight-year-olds are attractive. Come on. They can pull up. Stop. Yeah. All right, you know. let's take a break. Uh, when we come back, we can, we'll do some dump them out, yes. some other stuff. Um, we got some a bunch of stuff. We do, we do. Let me get the music here. This is a hold on here. 
This is brand new, uh, brand new music from Mean Jeans. I know you guys know Mean Jeans. The name of the song is "I Don't Give a Shit Anymore," which might be the way that um, yeah. you feel today, <laughs> yeah. Seth. But uh, check this out. Great little tune. We'll be back with more mediocre time momentarily. One eight four four T O M N D A N show at tomanddan.com. When you're purchasing a car, you definitely want a vehicle that is known for their reliability. Yep. And you want to work with a company that's known for giving back to the community and doing great things. And the number one first company that comes to mind is Subaru. Yep. And right now, Subaru is doing a great event. It's the A Lot to Love event where you can actually save some money on these vehicles that just recently were rated Best Mainstream Automotive Brand. That's the Subaru. Subaru Outback yep. has been named a 2024 recommended model. These are all things we've told you guys before. This is the boring part, but they're just a good company, and they do great stuff. Yeah, you're buying safety for your family and an investment that holds its value. You know, Subaru, the car. I do like the fact that when, good, you, when you go to trade in your Subaru, and yeah. most of the time you're going to get another Subaru, uh, yeah, they hold their value there. Yeah. Um, it's a cult like car. Also, when you go to Sport Subaru North John Young Parkway, ask for Mike Stacks. He's our contact over yep. there. He will hook you up. He has sold uh, this dozens and dozens of cars, cars to man. BDMs and Tom and Dan listeners. And when you buy a vehicle, you get to come in and watch a show. That's My- the least reliable part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that car, may or may yeah, not yeah. happen. That's a completely unreliability. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our strong suit. But yeah. Subaru, that car is going to get you here. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to hold its value. Us uh, rocketing yeah. to the bottom of value. You may drive that car for years <laughs> before you come to yeah, watch yeah. it. Oh, we'll it. fade away <laughs> and die. That's Subi. That Subi will be strong, strong. Yeah, so check out the Subaru event going on now through April 1st and talk to Mike Stacks. Also, dmchevy.com if you're into the Chevrolets or, um, you know, maybe that Corvette, that Minage and Corvette. Talk to J.C. Harrelson over there at DM Chevy in Claremont. Tick-tock, tick-tock. That's my body yeah. clock telling me I want a Corvette. So if you buy any car, you get to come in and watch the show at Sports Subaru and Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. That's Waxahachie with Right Back to You. Uh, trying to like mix it up, you know, play uh, different stuff here. I like to play a little country, try to weave that into the final song. Let me uh, thank the the Danger Brain real quick because we've been using the Danger Brain branding agency for uh, 15 years now, uh, officially this year, Crazy. which is nuts. But they uh, they're designing our new BDM logo for BDM Appreciation Week, yep. our cruise logo. Still, uh, you know, they do all of our logos for us. And if you need a branding agency for your company or anything, uh, contact them. TheDangerBrain.com. Yeah. You might just need like a brand refresh, which is something that most people need where you just take an existing look that you have like american air and heat did that where they had like a look that they liked and they definitely want to stick with like the red white and blue and and then they were able to just kind of like hey let's add a few different elements and and make it look better i need a tiny tiger logo i have a kid cobra i have the junk i have the dojo one i need a tiny tiger logo there you go all right it'd be a tiger pissing himself (laughs) (laughs) hold on it could be a tiger and then calvin from calvin and hobbs pissing on the tiger (laughs) okay Uh, most of that work's already been done you can just Uh, clip it i need an autistic one too you can like (laughs) clip it together and do that the dangerbrain.com there you go you want to do some uh dump them out all right let's do the dump them out music because if we don't do it people get mad that we don't dump about correctly. We got too many topics on the list today. It's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby. Let's dump them out and play. I want to see your topics. I want to also see your bottom mix. (laughs) 
It does make me uncomfortable. I got an email from a guy who said that this song is something that he and his son sing together as they're helping to clean up the house, and they're way too young to be singing it. <laughs> and then, like, he says, like, the uh, one the youngest one's like, they've got too many topics on the <laughs> list today. It's the end of the motherfucking show. And I'm like, oh, it's okay, fine. I guess it's your kid, not it's mine. Florida. How old are they? Did they say hold it? Uh, I think they're five. <laughs> old enough five. for a ritual suicide I mean, video. <laughs> and five. I was listening to inappropriate oh. songs very young. Oh, uh, it's fun. It I is, turned it, out fine. It, it, I, I watched, I watched Boys in the Hood at like 10 years old. Oh. <laughs> I do yeah. think it's totally fine. fine. Maybe not it's the Boys fine. in the Hood, but it's the curse fine. words are just words. Okay. Um, what do we want to start with? Um, we got all kinds oh. of good stuff. Um, let's go with let's go with jump in the car. Okay. Because it's been on there for a minute. It's kind of easing. It's my favorite phrase that you made up, like an old man easing himself into a hot bath. So, uh, first, let's start off. Have any of you jumped a car? Yes. Multiple yes. times. Okay, all right. My truck. <laughs> like, in what situation? Like, over a hill? No, no, no. no. I meant jumping a car, like... With, with jumper jump cables. Ca- yes. That's, yeah, oh, like if your battery oh, dies. But I'm like driving still, in. That's what I thought you meant. <laughs> My no, no, no. brain never would have went. No, I like this. This is great. Went. No, that's great. Well, that's, like, that's like a, such a cool accident to show exactly how different our brains are. This guy's looking to jump shit, and I'm like a nerd. I'm like, <laughs> My well, battery died. Well, my ba- you're right. I mean, I no, you who mean, hasn't like, jumped a car? That was my question. But I, I, okay, I was reading an article that a couple of weeks ago, was that a burp? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Holy smokes. <laughs> this is disgusting. So Tom and I are we're talking one morning about like prep <laughs> services. And remember I signed up for this one. I found this one like tech prep service that sends like really good stuff to me. We've used a couple of the topics on the show. So I'm reading this thing. It comes in last week and I put it on the list last week. But they're like, do you know how to jump? a car with jumper cables. I'm like, everybody knows how to jump a car with jumper cables. And then they included this graphic, and I can't put it up on the, the, the screen, I apologize. But you go, in the way that they do it, how to jump a car, red on dead, so you go positive red to the, you first you put it on your battery that's good, and then you put it positive to positive, then you go red on donor, black on donor, black on bare metal. Yeah, Nobody can, I know. You can do that or the. Or I know. What well, my point is is this was the article. I have never, hmm. ever, ever had one person when I'm jumping a car, when they're jumping a car, when we're assisting jumping a car, when I'm assisting Sam or somebody like Sam jumping a car, you jumping a car. I have never done bare metal ever. I have never seen anybody do mm-hmm. bare metal. I have never heard <laughs> yeah, somebody yeah. say bare metal. No one's ever told me. Remember, you got to go red on dead, red on donor, have black doing on it donor, wrong? black on bare. That was my no. question. No, the black Do you get is a just better a bare or metal. faster yeah. charge? I don't no. know. My Hellcat just... has a lever for the bare metal. It doesn't. You don't attach it to the black. You attach. There's a piece of metal that just sticks up. You attach it to the bare metal. It I has, have seen that before. It, yeah. Before. yeah, but I mean, nobody. That... I'm saying <clears> my, again. You're right. you're right. And yes, the bare metal, the whole thing, do it. But I've never seen anybody do it. Not one person. Every time I've jumped a car, it's always been a red on red, black on black. Uh, friend of Jack. <laughs> oh <my laughs> yeah, God. yeah. yeah. It's you. And, and then I've never worried about the order either. They want you to. And I tried to look it up a little no, bit. But I put it on. It's already always sparking. Yeah, um, I, put, yeah. I, 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 I always go red and black. Right. I go red first, then black, and then I'm holding the end on the that live. live. You, you you attach it to the live car. Correct. Yes, that's what I do. The hold donor it. car. Yeah, yeah. I hold it apart. And then I hold them, and then <laughs> I press the ladies and get their panties wet. I go, ting, ting. Because every girl, when you do that, it's like, oh, Mr. Danger's here. Mm-hmm. And then I put uh, red on and then black on. Oh, and then, I do the black first. Is it black? I say, I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah I didn't even, yeah, I thought it didn't matter. <laughs> I just put it on there. Uh, again, just, again, that is yeah, my yeah. point. It does. I didn't think it mattered. So why are they telling me you were supposed to do it this way? Because this is the internet. They're they also saying you start the donor car and you let it go. Then you start the dead car and you let them run. And then you, uh, you and then the you remove them in the same. You have to remove them in the reverse the same, order. Okay, well, I knew that. Huh. I, oh, no, four, no, no, three, yeah. two, I don't do that. As soon as it's running, running I just take them all yes. off. Yes. Like a cloak. Just rip them off. I, yes. I stand uh, have... in the middle and just pull up and rip them off. <laughs> you don't want to you don't wanna do That's it. The, the answer. <laughs> you don't want to do it the other way because when you release it, okay, say you, uh, you release it from the <laughs> charged car first because you don't want to release it from. Fuck. Because the, oh the one that God. you just I, I jumped know. is running its juice to the end. If you unhook it, it's trying to release its 
battery juice that you just charged it no, to, to the end of those juice. cables. So you're releasing the okay. juice that you yeah. just charged it with. Yeah, yeah. No, and I'm, then, I'm and to, then the uh, chat room says revving the engine is another thing. That yeah, I read that. Yeah, I do it every time. Oh, yeah. It has very juice. Rev it up good in there. I need more power. Yeah. Doesn't that charge the battery more? You got to red light it. You got to red light it for three Mississippi. Put a brick on the gas. We have to bury Joe on line two who says he knows why you're supposed to put it on the bare metal. Uh, DeBerry Joe, it's always a pleasure talking to you. What's up? Help us out. All right. So, um, yeah, so the whole um, negative to the um, bare metal on a dead battery is um, when batteries die out, they can possibly, like, off-gas. And those extra sparks, um, it can be a pretty violent um, fire explosion. It doesn't happen very often. But it can happen, huh. and it's a lot better than not. Okay, DeBerry Joe, let me ask you this, because this is another urban legend I always heard when I first learned how to jump a car when I was 16 in the 90s, is that if you screw up and put the red on the black and oh. the black on the red and cross wires, Freddy's dead. that <laughs> the battery yep. will explode battery acid <laughs> into your face. like It'll explode really? the battery. It'll do that? that just... Well, that's what the urban legend was. Like If you mess this up, yeah. it will blow this battery that's up. why I, there was a, there was I was a, always a, told that I mean I agree with Tom there was a part in, point in time where I was so afraid of do, jumping my own car that I would rather just sit with a dead battery on the side of the road you know <laughs> I what mean? to my yeah. Lexus and it just fried the battery oh okay so it won't that, explode yeah that well it, back in the day older cars depending on you know there's a lot there's a, you know it's like uh, I don't know there's a million different little things that can change but back in the day again that could happen and it you know used to happen a lot nowadays with modern cars and the computers you just end up you know frying you know all of your electrical system the computer and everything in the car all right so it won't explode like I was about to teach my son yeah. that who <laughs> was like yeah. if you well, why not right? I mean it's a nice way to get him to do it the right way. I had to yeah. buy a new battery for the Lexus. Yeah. I remember when I did that. I felt stupid as hell. Joe, thank you for the well, information, man. <laughs> I was 21. Yep, absolutely. Appreciate you, dude. I think I was drunk. The, the actual... <laughs> Why were you jumping The, the jumper uh, cables. Was, it was nighttime. It was, one's red, so one's you're black. Drunk at night. <laughs> you're I was, helping your case. You know, I know. I was young. This is one of my dumb and bad stories. You want to hear the dumb Oh, part? I didn't know we were back into that. Yeah. Well, I, it just popped in my head. That was last segment. Oh, you were drunk driving at night. Your battery died. My blue Lexus. It's called the sexist, I called it, because uh, I, had, of course it I had strobe lights in it. But then there's a oh big God. red cap on the the positive side of the battery. And Typically, a black yeah. Red. I saw yellow GIs. That's all I had. Yellow GIs. I was like, oh. And then did it instantly fry the battery? Oh, yeah. It, it goes... I heard a... And you're like, like, oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> and then I took it off, and it was it was just front, nothing would start. It was just dumb. All right. Was, the worst part of my car still has a tiny battery in it. <laughs> it has the big battery to get me places, and then the little battery inside can go dead. In, and I don't even know where it is to jump it. Do in old cars <laughs> you used to be able to drive with no battery? Correct. And then the the oh. car would run I'd off the alternator. I do it with my Volkswagen. Yeah, I did I it could, on my truck. I could do it on my eighty two Rabbit. Yeah, you'd, you'd get it once you got it going. You were good. Yeah. Just don't turn it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but you like you could use an old battery because I remember using a battery like a borrowed battery to, to get it going to get it going. Yeah. And I had to give it back to the guy. Give him my battery back. <laughs> oh my god! And then I had That's to drive stuff. <laughs> drive to the like yeah. junkyard. And get yeah, <laughs> and buy it. Do you ever buy a used battery? I did. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, that's some They're poor like, people stuff when you're buying old batteries. It's got thirty percent juice. <laughs> 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 this one good. Yeah, we just topped it off. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What does that even mean? Um. Anyway, <laughs> what else we got here? Uh, do you want to watch the cop shooting his own car video? Well, I mean, I, I, everybody's it seen now? it. I don't know. It's well, I do have something to say with this. So, uh, everybody probably seen the story because it's been circulating everywhere. So this we can play the beginning just because okay. it's good audio. Uh, I don't want to go into the sad part where the lady's screaming because she thinks that the cop killed her. Yeah, no right. one died. Her, yeah, no one no. got hurt. But there is a part where you're listening and listening to this lady scream. Oh, she's legitimately terrified. Yeah, as she should. I be. mean, if a yeah. cop unloaded two clips into the back of his own squad car and your husband was tied in the back of right. it with his handcuffs. I mean, the uh, likelihood of him not getting uh, killed is... Yeah, yeah, well. I mean, he was arrested for a reason, though, right? Like, there was a... He was a bad guy. He was a bad guy, right? Yeah, but yeah, he the, was, but he didn't uh, deserve that. Of course <laughs> not, but I mean, it yeah. until proven yeah. there's guilty levels. Also. Yeah. Yeah. You're not yeah. guilty as soon as him. you're in the back. Pretty sure that caught him red-handed. <laughs> See, yeah, here, okay, here, here, here. 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 here, here, 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 here. Here
Hold on. Right. I'll back it up a little okay, bit. Yeah. Here's the beginning of it. It was an acorn that fell on the top of his car. <laughs> right there. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! You know. And now he's just shooting his own car. (laughs) That's the funny part, is he's shooting his own car. What a dumbass. Okay, it's the only funny part of the video. The rest gets a little sad. But when the the funny part of this video is him Tackleberry Police Academy style running. (laughs) Running. And he's like, John Floyd! John Floyd! And he's been waiting for this moment his entire life. He pulls the gun out. He blows the windshield wiper off the back of his car. I don't even know if I can do that. That was a good shot. It was a good shot. It was a great shot. But there's a man inside that car. Did he do a barrel roll first? Yes, he did. But it was was a sloppy barrel. So, though, because you know, I mean. So, so just to describe what happened, he's walking next to another squad car, and an acorn had fallen off a tree and landed on that squad car he was walking and next those to. Those things do hit loud do. on top they of do. your trucks. Do. I was hearing. Have you ever heard my? Yeah. I, I have dents all over my car. They fall out of my right. oak trees. My whole hood is aluminum over the front. If yep. I, if anything touches it, it it echoes. It's like kind. But I will also say I've never mistaken it for a gunshot. No, no, yeah, not, yeah like you, a gunshot brings. Yeah. I know what a gunshot sounds like. <laughs> but I would think, even if you thought gunshot, like he says, he goes on to say, like, I'm hit, I'm hit. Like, yes, he goes if, on to say If you he's heard a gunshot, I mean, I get the Why barrel roll. I get it. Hit? I even get the barrel roll. You barrel roll in. You barrel roll crazy. You're a cop. You're supposed to barrel roll when you hear a gun, I feel like, right? But to think about pulling your gun out and unloading it into the car, that's an odd choice. And why did you think he was choice? shot? He heard what, yeah, why do you think he was shot? Because <laughs> the barrel roll, he hit his elbow on the well, barrel roll. the end, all right, here, I'll go to the end, what? and they, and he does does comment on it at well, the very end of the video he talks about it here all right, all right. i don't know my legs went numb for a second <laughs> i heard a pop come from go this way can you move yeah on, well sir your legs so went numb because end. you barrel rolled <laughs> without stretching yeah, that, and he has adrenaline rush, so. stay up. Uh, yeah he said uh yeah he definitely he said his legs he heard a pop his legs went numb yeah. He barrel rolled, then it, he unloaded double <laughs> clips into his own squad car. He shot the back of his car up, unlo- like, took You even out. heard the lady cop go where from over there? Because she didn't hear nothing either. But there's another yeah. funny part where, hold on, David I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it again here. Story. We're going to back it up. Now, listen to him. There's, there is one part after he's unloaded both clips where she's talking to him, his partner, and he's like, what? Like, he's like, <laughs> and he's normal again. <laughs> here, listen. <laughs> I'll, I'll point it out, and you'll laugh. All right. So here's the acorn right now. Boom. Just fired! Just fired! There's the barrel roll. Oh, push pause. Button. So I, the only one thing I do like is he acted like I would act <laughs> if, if yeah. I thought I was being shot. Yeah, yeah. Like he, he didn't act like a trained uh, police Can officer. Can I go a step further? It's a goofball. Can like, I go a step he, further? He, I think his barrel roll is better than mine. <laughs> He's tripping over his running shoes that he just got yeah. that are too big in the toe. Maybe because, that wasn't a barrel. Maybe he tripped over it. Because if so, if I thought I was getting shot out, I would pay freak <laughs> out, then roll, and then pull my yeah. gun out and just start shooting all around me. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know what Which the fuck. The worst thing. <laughs> it is the worst. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like I'm just screaming. Oh I'm like, man down, sh- man yeah. down. I start shooting. There's yeah. a possibility Everything. if I had a gun right now. <laughs> there's a possibility if somebody busted in that door that I give you a wahoo and then shoot the gun into the ceiling nine times. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be crazy. Now wait for it. You're gonna hear him and he's gonna go. What? He gets normal. You'll hear it. Uh, shooting up his own car. <laughs> shooting the glass. There's a suspect in the back. I'm hit. I'm hit. <laughs> he's now he's on the floor. What? Right there. What? Right what? There. Hey, what? Goes, what? 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 What do you say? He, ran, he finally ran out of bullets. What? I can't talk to you. I'm unloading my clip into my car. I blew the windshield wiper. So the guy he blew his own ears out with his gun, and he's like, "What? So what?" The guy in the back, what? He just duck on. He's yeah, one of those seats. He I'm did guessing. Dunk. That's the interesting part. Is I guess. I wonder what guy, he did. I think he was Holy handcuffed. Shit! Man. Imagine being well, that guy. Oh my god! He like, pissed the back of that seat for <laughs> oh, sure. Oh yeah, my god! Tiny tiger. Like they're. I mean, for sure, you're like they're going to kill me for sure. I mean, this is a setup where they they say I. I would think, like, honestly, if it was me in the back of that fucking car, I would think something else is happening. I'd like, oh, there's obviously uh, something. Uh, like, there's, else. what else are they shooting at? They're obviously not shooting at me. I'm just sitting here with my. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? You're right. Yeah, yeah. I, they're like, what? And then you? when you hear the first one hit the car, then you're fucking rolling on the ground, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> trying I, to get as low as you can. And then as he's shooting the window and his whole car up, you're laying there. You're like, oh my god, what's <laughs> trying to like, kill me? What's always weird to me though is like, it's not like. 
the guy, it, it does seem a bit like a freak out. There are some people, there's so many conspiracy theories about this. There are people saying that he did it and then resigned so he could get full pension from the police department. There are people saying that Wait, it was. he resigned right away? Like, he did, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. It I happened in November. Fight. He resigned in December, oh, if I remember November. correctly. Oh, this is old? Last yeah, yeah, year, the video I mean, got released yeah. just recently. Though. They just yeah, yeah, released yeah. it, and then now this guy's like uh, talking the clown. Now this guy's clown, right? <laughs> oh yeah, like, this is the stuff that ruins your life. Not yeah. what he did. The, what he did did not ruin his life. It's the video that will ruin Correct. his life. There's no people picture of him. All, though. Shit like this has probably happened so many times that you know we never saw like footage of. Oh, and, and now oh, we got body cams. So you you pull your gun and shoot it. You're like, oh shit, <laughs> you idiot! I, I killed you. Huh? <laughs> now I have to pair your body. <laughs> you're, you're looking like you're like, let's uh, all get together on the what happened here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I have I've never had one of those moments. I have yeah. never had a moment where I've had to look around the room and go, all right, guys. We gotta get our short story. <laughs> and I feel like I I've want always to wanted. It. I want one too. I want yeah, one too. That you know what? That okay. I will, stories you can't tell. I will say that did happen at my bachelor party <laughs> with oh, with yeah. my buddy that. Oh, uh, they went to the rock club. Yeah, oh, <laughs> the rock and roll club. Don't talk about it. after uh, he's going to see. I didn't sign that in the You know, I'm, gl- I'm glad you brought that. Up. I'm going to bring that up this yeah. weekend. Yeah, <laughs> in front of Ruin everybody. The trip. In front Ruin of the trip. Yeah, I can't come if you do that. And then because we all got together, like, and then my buddy's like. All right, let's get our story straight. We went to a rock and roll club. <laughs> <laughs> we were dancing to the rock and roll. And then the greatest part is as he's uh, describing that, uh, the, she, he left his phone on. His uh, oh god, his, really? Their wife is listening on the other. So bad, <laughs> so bad. Oh, so good. <sighs> <laughs> and we anxiety. laughed and laughed so much. It uh, gives me anxiety. Um, all right, what else have we got? Here? Uh, do we want to go Dune Microsoft Flight Simulator yeah, or Sandwich it. Bad Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I forget the. We can do both. <laughs> What's the, the Dune is just a passing comment. Leave your Dune out of my Microsoft F- Flight Simulator. Get that shit out of there. What? Oh, what do you mean? Look what? at this. Look what these nerds did. Talk I'll put about. this up here so you can see it. So Microsoft Flight Simulator, I go to load it up and check on my planes. I like to walk through my the virtual <laughs> halls of my aircraft. You fly them? I walk. I, I, I like to look at them. I like to go inside and look, look at a polish them a little bit. Here, so you watch, just walk watch. through a hangar of digital, digital trophies. Trophies. Look at this. What is this? Look at this dumb shit. Oh. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator. They're showing the desert, and then they show, like, a ragman. <laughs> ragman standing in the desert next to a crashed-out thing. Oh, what is it? Oh, Microsoft says they're giving me something free. They gave me a Dune Digital Dragonfly. <laughs> this nerd shit. I don't want this nerd shit in my... I like real planes that do real shit that take real people places. Look at this Dragonfly <laughs> bullshit. They oh, it. Oh, pretty nerd, awesome. That's I mean, fucking stupid. Oh, that look good. Yeah. And you're riding the Dragonfly. It's got Dragonfly wings. And then... You don't oh, like the Dragonfly? It doesn't have any weapons. It's not even... It's not real. I don't... I want... I go to <laughs> Flight Simulator for reality. I don't go there for this Dune garbage. <laughs> but it's not reality. I don't <laughs> want this. Yeah, this is the opposite of reality. I don't... But it's based in reality, like all the checks. EJ's that, calling now. All oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, <laughs> Jesus fucking <laughs> Thank you for calling. Hey, Samantha. Hi. CJ. You're on the air. What do you want? Uh, tell him a happy birthday. All right. Well, it was my birthday. Uh, yeah, that was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. You're late. Well, the only reason why I called is because uh, they killed Mike Epps in the new uh, Madam Oh, no. he's spoiled. Oh. Is, was this Nokia phone? <laughs> I pulled it down. Oh, I pulled it down. He's at an Indian. Are you working at an Indian call center? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah Hello, you can fucking walk in. You can fucking walk in. Fuck it up. You can fucking walk in. The fat one is not answering the phone. As soon as he picked up, it was a boop. Boop, boop, Back up. This is Ennis. This is Ennis the penis. Call it. I've got... Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Mad at you. Yeah, now. yeah. yeah. Uh, now, is he ruining He's doing his yeah, ruiner again. We're not doing that. I'm oh, not doing that to people, man. People hate that stuff. He's but bringing I, it back. I don't want the Dune. I don't want the Dune <laughs> in the Microsoft. Like, I'm going to fly around a little dragonfly, really. I'm going to learn that. I'm going to learn the real controls of something that doesn't exist. The, the whole point of learning the planes was learning on real instruments. Well, so you could actually fly a real one? Well, not that no. I can really fly oh, it, but. Get them, Seth. Don't get your mic fun. Nobody hear my fun. No, I bet Daniel. Look how sour you made him now. Look how sour you made him now. Look how sour you made him now. We okay. If we went to a real, li- we should go to a real flight sim- simulator like the pilot train on. Don't they have it at the library? I think no? they do. I think yeah. yeah I think they know. have a good one at we the library. We should go the Melrose Center. They okay. have, they they have a real flight sim- simulator and see if one, either of us with no instruction <laughs> can figure out how to take off. Absolutely. Well, he's going to be way better. I can do he's it. Got practice. I can do it. But you don't have the actual. I don't 
bottle the gear and the buttons. Yeah, yeah, but he knows what they look like. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Not really. I mean, I kind of more just, than Tom and I do. More than Tom and you Hold guys on, do. I don't. I look kind of like my boat, a throttle. <laughs> yeah, but you barely know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and the but, steering wheel doesn't yeah. go all. <laughs> and then you were telling Sam steering. a bunch of weird a yoke. stuff, and then you told her you said don't do that, and then you told her to do it. But I understand the basics. You pull back, and that pulls up. You know that, and then uh, you push forward, go down, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 up and down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you turn. That's leather. basically it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bank. I know the bank. You don't have the feet pedals, right? That's a helicopter. Oh God. Uh, what's a lot this, of planes what's this do way? have like this stuff down there. Oh, yeah, yeah that, have, that's for the you want to change right? your flaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you the got flaps. you got flaps. You got you know. Your <laughs> Where are the guns the at? There's no guns. <laughs> oh, okay. The Dune one, you would think it has guns. It doesn't have guns. The only thing you could do with the stupid Dune dragonfly is outrun a sandstorm. Oh wow, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, I was faster than a sandstorm. All right, what is Sandwich Bad Boy? <laughs> I have no idea. I am a Sandwich Bad, bad Boy. <laughs> bad Boy. <laughs> I am a Sandwich Bad Boy. Uh, okay. I'm the Bad Boy Sandwiches. I, I will tell you that one of my favorite things in life... <laughs> what? Uh, ...is to watch Daniel... <laughs> Get up, super upset <laughs> about about any sort of store not <laughs> having they're all terrible not having the thing he ordered ready. They never when the do time, it. When, they, especially when they send him a time that it's going to be ready. <laughs> yeah, time. don't send me a time. Stop sending time <laughs> because dude, he sees that time. He's like, it better be ready. I do. I'm that guy. <laughs> and, and, and I see him. He'll go to the place, and I, I'm like, yeah, it's happening. And then I'll <laughs> yeah. see it's not there. And then oh man, no man, I learned a new way to do it. Damn, right. what you guys to tell me if morally what I'm doing is wrong because I've decided that this is going to be the new way that I handle mm-hmm. pre-ordering sandwiches any place but primarily I'm talking to you Publix because your online ordering is straight garbage. If I ordered a, sor- <laughs> if I ordered a sandwich from you uh, and you understand. said the sandwich is done and is going to be ready at 10.15 or 10.25, if I walk over at 10.25, it's not there that I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that I didn't... I'm going to have you continue to make the fucking sandwich and I'm going to get something else. And then you could go and put the sandwich in the hot thing and you made it and then you're going to end up throwing that shit away because I'm not getting it. Because you, we, you broke the deal. You broke the fucking deal. I don't think they care. Well, I hope like, hopefully made. they don't because this is my new way of doing things. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Like, hopefully just, they don't care because now I will out. waste every sandwich. I'm gonna pl- every day I'm gonna order a sandwich and I'm gonna walk over there and if it's there I'll purchase it. But if it's if it's not ready, then you're gonna make it eat the fucking cost and I'm gonna do it. And if sandwiches go sky high, if the price goes up, if people get mad at me, if morally what I'm doing is wrong, I don't fucking care anymore. I'm 47 years old and when you tell me the sandwich is supposed to be ready at 10:25, why do you give me a time? Why give me? Then don't give me a time. You know why? Then I wouldn't walk over there. If you said it'll be ready sometime after eleven, and I walked over there, then give yourself some fucking leeway. You pieces of shit. I think it's a sign for you to stop eating so many chubby sandwiches. Oh, oh my god, he's probably right. I deserve that. Uh, I deserve that. What else is he supposed to eat? That's all I got his, his soup. His old man soup. Old man soup. soup. I'm going to soup. Yeah, soup yeah. only. No what more else sandwiches. Is there? Um, There's only three things you can eat. Soup, sandwiches. Uh, you just go and get some organic turkey and you roll it up in little circles and eat it like that. Oh, that's <laughs> just you kill yourself. Eat some goddamn... <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> turkey rolls. Uh, <laughs> either turkey rolls or it. fat why rolls. It, why is it that bad? And then I look back there and then there's a bunch of people in the back just walking around. Yeah, the issue is they don't hire enough people to make sandwiches because my cheap meals the past two weeks But they know that so many people, up. right? Are, no, sorry, I mean yell at you. No, I get it. Yell at me. Yeah, but they know Know that they're, they, you know that you need to restaff that or right, have more right, people. Right. Do, oh, then, definitely. They don't. Then the manager of the fucking store should do it. <laughs> right. You do. You get back there and fucking do it. I agree. Uh-oh. I agree with that. That's what we would do if something were going wrong here and we needed to be done. You know, I'd be out there with the mops. You, you know, own the company, though. The guys making the sandwiches don't give a fuck. I, I know, yeah. but like, no, I'm, I'm saying it's not their fault. I'm it's Publix's fault. <laughs> it's <laughs> Publix's fault. I am never getting a mop at D&D Media. <laughs> and he's pissed on the ground before. <laughs> you Actually, when yeah. I pissed on the ground, I just walked out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just walked out. You see what I gotta deal with? Zach? <laughs> That's awful. And I'm yelling. At I, I don't like that. That's not a job for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right. Um, all right. So, uh, Let's plug some stuff and yeah. get out of here. Karate of Orlando. Dot uh, com. Dot com. If yes. you, uh, and now if you want to pee on some floors. Now accepting yeah. two and a half year olds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything goes. You bring Terrible your infant. Twos? Wait till you get a hold of the zippy zygotes. They're still yeah. in the womb. <laughs> I don't mind if the three year olds, I clean up pee once in a while, but no, I, once my adults start doing it, then I'm out. Then I'm yeah, <laughs> then yeah. I'm we good. had a couple of listeners say they're going <laughs> to test, I knew they're test right. the uh, waters. Uh, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. on the floor. Because I have weapons hanging up on the wall and I'll fucking bust them up. Oh, man, Dom, nah, tell you again. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> also, semantics. Uh, are you doing a new episode this weekend? Uh, yes, we are recording a new episode this weekend. Uh, we're going to have our friend Tim Cruz, who is our travel agent sponsor, going to be sitting in with us, as well as Jesse from the Fourth and Dirty podcast. Oh, nice. And we got some uh, special friends flying in from Ohio for the after party. So sign up for our Patreon for that. And make sure to come out Sunday to Rock Pit Brewing at 12 p.m. for our seven-year anniversary party. Boom, boom. Awesome. We're going to be at the Sanford Ports Fest next weekend on Saturday. We're house number 14. Yes. Free event, all for charity. Come hang out with us. We'd love to see you. Um, and also the uh, Leap Day Sapo Tournament at Hourglass Brewing in Longwood. That's happening February 9th, uh, 29th yep. on Leap Day. And uh, come out and play some Sapo. Win Real some laid prizes. back. Um, for those of you that haven't been to events, you know, I love the events when we get the new people to come up and they go like, hey, yep. this is my first event. This would be a good one. Laid back, fun game, something to do. We also uh, were about to announce our BDM uh, only event and BDM Appreciation Week happening in April. Um, so if you're not a BDM, sign up at TomandDan.com. Yep. That's the only way you can be involved and get all the different uh, things for BDM Appreciation Week. Truly, truly. Uh, anything else that, to say? I think it's it. Seth, anything? I can I play the clip of Dana White more. walking off the podcast real quick? <laughs> Just uh, can yeah. I end the show with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we will have a BDM and OG show on Monday, but we will not be here live because we do have Monday off. So yes. Twitch and YouTube, we will not be live on Monday, but we it's will Monday. have new content. Yeah, yeah new content. New ACT show as well. President's yeah. Day. Yeah. All new stuff for you and guys. Do you guys take off President's Day? Well, it's just his birthday weekend, we so he usually have. goes camping. Guys. Normally we go camping. Yeah. Like Normally we would do that. I have to end with this. Have you? You've talked to Dana White before, right? Yeah. <laughs> is this real? Tell me if this is real. Here. You are an amazing guy. You are. I can't thank you enough for being here. Uh, you and Ginger seem to be getting along. Ginger Billy, we've um, had him on the show. You are not only an amazing businessman, you are an inspiration. You are a philosopher. The way you do business, the way you uh, conduct your business and your friendships and media is, uh, I'm, I'm jealous. And But Dana, I can't thank you enough for being here. Thank you for all the kind words. I appreciate it. I, I am so fucking tired of doing podcasts. It's I, I, I'm literally done with them. I'm not doing any more podcasts. That's it. That's a work. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the fact that Howie didn't say shit. Right. That's an old Very 90s radio. It seems radio. like it, but a lot of people are saying that Dana White is not the type of guy that likes what to have anything to do with the counter argument to that is that he typically doesn't do that and he thinks that shit's stupid. So there is. But he a, may have been friends with Howie Mandel. Don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Because it, do, it also doesn't seem like you would do that for real. Like, be like, I'm sick of podcasts and just walk out. You wouldn't even do it, right? Right. Why walk in? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you wouldn't sit through the intro and then walk out. You would probably walk out while he was doing the intro or slightly before. Especially but. when the intro is all, like, really nice things about you. Complimentary, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, uh, everyone else's look on their face looked fake. He, Dana yeah. sold it pretty good, but everyone else is just like, yeah. Yeah, it, it was, it I, it was fun. fun. I like that. Like you know what? I'm back in. I like it. I like it. I like fake news. We should do more of that. Fake news. Like, do some more bits. Yeah. You know yeah. what? This is the last time I'm coming on this. <laughs> <laughs> we already tried doing the silent strike. Uh, yeah, people were happy. Like, ah. <laughs> I don't think. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We certainly do appreciate it. Have a great weekend. A new shows for Monday. Anything else? No. We'll uh, see you on Tuesday. Wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre. I, I am so fucking tired of doing podcasts it's I, I, i'm literally done with them i'm not doing any more podcasts